All right. For yesterday, let's see. Do more sub stories and continue working on our Hitman thing. Uh, what was the stick out yesterday? Huh. I don't remember what we did yesterday. We were largely in Kamurocho because uh, we did quite a bit of the uh, Okinawa stuff. Oh, there was that thing with the girl, the girl who thinks she had a stalker, but it turns out to be her father. Oh, and the journalist, that's right, who covered the story with regarding the father's quote-unquote life that was indirectly uh, ruined by uh, Kiryu, but Kiryu was just stopping his father from scamming people. And then uh, uh, Yanai, Yanai was covering it. Uh, Alright. <clears throat> and then we encountered a bunch of things that, uh... Oh, interesting. So, Kaede's thing... Kaede's thing is, uh, still ongoing. The girl, uh, from Okinawa who loves Tokyo and, uh, Kiryu told her about, uh, Kamurocho and now she works at the Smile Burger on Nakamichi Street. Right, what's this? I can't trust anybody. They're all after me. Just look at all their evil eyes. Uh, oh, it's, it's just Kiryu's eyes right now. I mean, sometimes they kind of look evil. I mean, he has that frown all the time. What happened to you? <gasps> Stay back. You're just like the others. You're after my money, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe just calm down a little? Shut up! Stay back, or I'm... I'm gonna kill you! Oh. Uh, oh, we're gonna do this now? Oh, okay. Do I have heat? I certainly do. Knock some sense into him with my foot. Uh, did that calm you down a bit? Uh. <clears throat> you know, I uh, I got the numbers. What do you mean? The lottery. I won the lottery. Oh, yeah? How much? I won the big one. 300 million yen. Wow. 300 million, eh? Mm. But now, everybody around me has this look in their eyes, like they want to come take my winnings. There's some deep cut about becoming a big winner suddenly. Uh, one that has a sudden change of fortune from their current position. My paranoia won't go away until I exchange this darn ticket for money. I hire a bodyguard, but I'm flat broke right now. So that's what you got, so... So that's what's got you so edgy. <laughs> I've got it. You look like a solid guy. How about working as my bodyguard? I'll pay you a generous sum as soon as I get this ticket exchanged. You gotta help me or I'm gonna keel over and die of paranoia. Why do I have a feeling he didn't win the lottery after all of this? Hmm. Ask to see the ticket. Oh, that's interesting. Nah, let's just agree. Faith. Kiryu is a man of faith. Uh, yeah, why not? I'll get you to a taxi. <laughs> I can't thank you enough for this. Wait, are we escorting? This better not be an escort. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ew. I, I feel much better. Now all I gotta do is take a taxi to the exchange center. Thanks for the help, buddy. So... Oh. Oh, oh alright, alright. Hold your horses. I'll pay you once I get the 300 million yen. Let's meet up right at this spot, okay? Come back for me later. Hmm. 
Trust me on this. I'm an honest guy. See you later. Hmm. I agree with you, Kitty. You. I agree with you. Let's go back to the Smile Burger while we wait. Now that we're uh, while we're on Nakamichi Street, we want to see how Kaede is doing. She's doing all right for the first encounter, and it was by chance actually. I just wanted a burger. Mmm. <laughs> How many times have I told you? You can't take any food home with you. <clears throat> We're just going to throw it out anyway. Why waste it? That might be true, but you still need to pay for it. It's our merchandise after all. You don't have to be such a cheapskate. You're still just going to throw it out. Look, if you still don't get it, then don't bother coming back tomorrow. Aww. What? Not again. This is the fourth shop. Oh, okay. Entry bumpkin. Uh, principles are uh, conflicting with rules. Aww. Oh, Kiryu san. Don't tell me. You saw all that? Yeah. Mm. Eh. Screwed it up again. Tokyo's a pretty tough place to live. I'd say. I'd say. Tokyo's got its own set of rules. I, I've got to, I've got to start the job search again. If I don't work, I won't be able to pay that Tokyo rent. See you later then. I'm gonna see if I can find a job around here. I'll text you if something works out. Ah, uh, this is not going to be very inspiring. So there's, that's a deep cut. Uh. Transitioning from an environment to an environment simply because of conditioning or I guess rationalization from one environment to another environment. The idea is you want to observe the status quo before uh, and acquire influence before and credibility before you um, act uh, act for uh, reform is often uh, it's an uphill battle unless you're an influential person going into I mean that's still the road of great resistance but we'll see how she adapts to the city culture it's one of those things uh, if you feel compelled that you're Righteousness, objectivity is out the window when trying to communicate against the majority. Being able to understand and empathize with the majority may give you a window into how they, the bigger picture before introducing your own and infusing your own life experiences that may be dramatically different from the environment you're entering. Just a shortcut. Uh, okay. Um, do we just, how do we meet her now? Do we just roam around and then she'll just pop up again? Oh, speak of the devil. <laughs> you do, son. I'm the I'm the queen of part-time work. I started a new job in Gelataria, Gelataria, uh, Camarocho. I'm really excited about it because I love ice cream. Come see me sometime. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say ice cream and gelato in the same, in the same sentence, but fair enough. Let's go visit her. <clears throat> I want to know how this turns out for Kaede. Let's go. Let's go, Kiryu. She's back there, but... Oh. Is there a way I can interact? Oh. <clears throat> oh! Kiryu-san! Come by, uh... Come by to take a load off? What's this line for? 
Huh? Doesn't everyone love ice cream? Kaede-san, stop standing around and start taking orders. I'm taking them. Jeez, what's the big rush? Ma'am, please let me take over for Kaede-san. We've got too many customers waiting. <clears throat> Kaede-san, why are you making our customers wait? I just thought, well... They made the effort to come all the way here. The least they deserve is a bit of friendly conversation. This is a business, not a social club. Kaede-san, I don't think you're a good fit for this shop. I'll give you the rest of your pay, so don't bother showing up tomorrow or the next day either, because you're fired. What? Not again. Ugh, can't believe I lost another job. Sounds like you need to pull yourself together. I I was never this busy when I worked part-time in Okinawa. You're not in Okinawa. Aww. I've got to start the job search again. If I don't work, I won't even be able to feed myself. <laughs> see you later then. I'm going to see if I can find a job around here. I'll text you if something works out. I mean, spirit, blooming spirit, passion, fire. But the spirit and fire of one person rarely ever trumps the spirit and fire and weight of millions of people. So, or I guess whatever the population of Kamurocho is, or the population of the company, <laughs> I suppose. All right, I guess we roam around until there we go. Hideo son, I just got a part-time job at a bowling alley. Okay, she went to mock ball. I should be okay this time because there's no food involved. I'm at Mock Ball on Theater Al Alley. I know it's not gonna. I know it's gonna work out this time. What could go? What could be different? Well, first of all, I don't think I'll, where she's from there was a bowling alley. It is still a service job. Um, chatting feverishly in a city setting is still a taboo, generally speaking. Uh. During business, actually chatting in general in high traffic activity, it's still another service job. So, service jobs tend to be very particular when it comes to foot traffic. So, um, let's see how she does. Let's see what she ends up. Yeah, unfortunately, this is one of the slighter, deeper cuts where. When you work for a bigger business, it's if you're appealing to your own pragmatism, being nice and kind gets in the way of objective business metrics. So it, it is a fine line in the balance, but it's not a small pop shop. So they're contrasting the Okinawan lifestyle with Kamurocho, I mean, well, Ryukyu's. Um, lifestyle with Kamurocho and Kamurocho is a metropolitan area and uh, the hustle and bustle lifestyle of the city contrasts with the culture of uh, Ryukyu which is like a town more than a city and it's demonstrating that uh, being nice by sharing conversation is different from being nice getting the person's product so they can leave early like they can come in and go so the interpretation of what is nice is marred by her bias of life experiences like to do someone a service in the city is to get their product as quickly as possible so they can go back to the hustle bustle of their life that is in actuality also being nice it's just a different interpretation and a differing in lifestyle but she is young, so in Okinawa, when we were talking to her, she's very young and passionate, but naive. Um, and life experiences will help her, well, typically will help someone understand the fine lines between different cultures, even microcultures within a similar country, or within the same country, or a similar country.
We could have told her not to come to Tokyo, but we kind of just said she should try it out herself. You're fired. Wh what? Are you stupid? You can't just let people leave and pay later. Loyalty. Because in a small town, people are familiar with each other. And their li their lives are attached to one like location a lot of times. And there's a lot of uh, familiarity between trust. But in a metropolitan area, people come and go. I mean, a substantial amount of foot traffic in a place like uh, a bowling alley is probably like a one-off most of the time. Or maybe once in a month. The deal. So rarely do you... S expect to realistically see someone again or be able to even remember them sure you have regulars still but it's a city i'm taking our losses out of your wages good grief we're short on staff as it is dang it all well oh it is, son. I got fired again. Yeah, I saw. I can't even cut it at a bowling alley. I've probably been fired from every place in Kamurocho that will hire me. Well, this being Kamurocho, you could always try the clubs. That might be an appropriate place for her. <laughs> but the same things. And she's a lot older than, like, they were already drinking in Okinawa, so I, I don't really know how old she is. Definitely old enough to be around a club. Oops, huh? I do enjoy my liquor. That's not a bad idea. I love chatting with customers, too. I'll look into it. <laughs> Thanks. Iryu-san, if you're ever in a rough spot, you can always count on me. Your naive heart. The club is still a service place, so she keeps going into service jobs, as opposed to like a uh, craftsman. She has no crafting skills, as, as far as I am aware. They didn't give you the impression that she makes things. Iyu san, I interviewed at a hostess club, but I ended up answering every question wrong. I gotta work a little bit harder. I'll email you again once. Oof. Um. Uh, the downside to the club thing is that she still doesn't understand the culture in a city, Kamurocho. So to expect her to be able to cater to the clientele in a club situated in a city is very unlikely. So it checks out that she would probably have gotten all the questions wrong. Or the questions required that they're looking for in a hostess in a city. Because she has very little experience about being in a city. Um, you, you're a service job, so you're servicing people. You have to understand the people that you're servicing. She could do like a craftsman thing or like work to make something that doesn't involve services. But generally speaking, service jobs, if you work in a service job, over time, I would say one of the biggest drivers for someone's success in a service job is being able to understand your customer base. I mean, content creation kind of falls under that. Thankfully, it's the customer base is so big that you can probably find a niche or carve out a niche in some way. Anyways. Yeah, the, the other extreme is content creation, which it's a huge customer base. But when it comes to bowling, hostess, it's so refined. They self-select themselves into the service. Iryu-san, I got a job. Do you know the bar Earth Angel in the Champion District? I'll be working. Hmm, Earth Angel with Mama, huh? The other Mama, not the one in New Serena. You know, I just realized... Wow, well, that's like... Change. Oh. Oh. Earth Angel, huh? Hmm. I think that could... 
that seems a better fit. I mean, Earth Angel is in Champion District. It's a, uh, it's a little tucked away, uh, lower foot traffic. I'm surprised the bartender was looking for help. Yeah, the Champion District is a little bit more local. Huh? To you too, dude. This sweater is actually kind of cool. It has some primary shapes in it. I've got I'm not playing Yakuza 4. They're they're very similar, but there there are some slight differences in uh, how the enemies react. I'm still using the same shrinks to speed it up, but The subtlety is there. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, we're going to Earth Angel. Hmm. This. I've been seeing a strange homeless man dressed in white around here lately. He's always carrying around a bunch of weird smoking junk. He's really creepy. And if you come anywhere near him, he asks you for money. What a weirdo. I don't remember what... I remember I needed to look for hints about someone. But I don't remember which one this is. Oh, we have... No, it's not the old man's memory. That's the Jinsei in Su Sapon Street. The guy that's visiting after the war, World War II. Uh, that's Kaede Tuna Fun. No, that that's the guy in uh, Sushi Gin that got us to buy ten shares. Uh, this is. Oh, well, no, no, this is the phone booth thing. We'll do that. Uh, batting cages, phone booth. Yeah. Uh, wait. There's more to the fortune teller thing? Oh, that's interesting. So she didn't leave or stop. Uh, and then, okay, so that's the lottery ticket guy, right? Okay, that's all we got right now. So let's go check out how Kaede is doing. <clears throat> Oh, wait, that's Shellac. Earth Angel's over here. Oh, boy. There. Uh, wait. Is this good or bad? Because that's a lot of customers. What's this line for? It could be slow or it could be bustling. Because uh, Champion District, the pubs don't really have high foot traffic. There we go. Sir, would you mind waiting outside? We got a full house, but you're welcome to wait for a spot to open up. Oh, Kitty Chan, welcome. Come by to take a load off? <laughs> this girl's pretty cute. I heard she's from Okinawa. She really knows how to soothe this old heart of mine. Nice, I'm so happy that Kaede has found a fitting, uh, fitting environment. Yeah, the Champion District typically has super low foot traffic and uh it's like a it's like a runner down like a more quaint side of Kamurocho because all the big it's drawing all the big uh, like touristy spots away from it it's like a remnant of the older Kamurocho Kaede-chan could I get another order of oh yeah refute Rafute, <laughs> refuse, and a beer. I don't know what that is. And a beer, hun? Coming right up. You should have some vegetables too, you know. This job's perfect for me. It's so much fun too. Yeah? 
That's good to hear. I swear, all the men in Tokyo are always exhausted. They come here to eat and drink their troubles away, so they can give it their all again tomorrow. <laughs> Kaede-chan, it's thanks to you that we can keep chugging along. Your Okinawan accent is so nice and relaxing. <laughs> That's nice of you to say, sir. Here, have this on the house. Eat up. I had an inkling that might have been you. Turns out it was. Looks like business is booming. It's all thanks to Kaede-chan. She said that someone named Kiryu convinced her to come to Tokyo. And she's simply amazing. Here, take this. A token of my thanks. Oh, you get paid for doing just... That's awesome. That would be cool. Just giving, like, random... That's amazing. I like this string of sub stories. I just keep getting fired from job after job. I was starting to think that I couldn't make it in Tokyo. But after coming here, I know I just gotta keep trying my best. That's the spirit. This place must be a good fit for you. <laughs> We're completely packed right now, so you'll have to swing by again later. When you do, it'll be on the house, Kiryu-san. Oh, that's so sweet. The impressions you can leave on people's lives. I, you may never, you know... One may never know what happens to them, but when the rare uh, serendipitous occasion that you come across that person in quote unquote a small world but a large world situation, that's amazing. Oh, that's so wholesome. That's kind of how I feel about doing things and sharing things. You may never know what happens to them, but if, if doing something enables them I mean, it can be for better or for worse, obviously, but uh, for Kaede, it worked out. <clears throat> Take every opportunity, not just the opportunities for yourself, but the opportunities for someone else. Kiryu san, I figured it all out. I know what I want to do for the first time since coming here. I feel bad for the mama and Earth Angel, but this isn't where I need to be. Interesting. I talked to her and she told me to follow my heart. She's sharing me on, so I'm heading off. I hope I get to see you again. There's more? Oh, she found her calling. But now I don't know where she is. Do I... Do I get another message? What the heck? Kaede, what the heck, dude? What does she end up doing? If she ends up back in Okinawa, that's fair too. Maybe she wants to start a bar in Okinawa. <laughs> um, uh, we're, we have to suspend our disbelief on the passage of time in this game. When it especially when it comes to uh, sub-stories. Um, so it, it could be, it could have been like days or weeks, but the idea is there's a very high chance that she found inspiration in the city. Okay, hold up. The sound effects are generally a lot louder. Let's tune it down. Let's turn it down a little bit. Yeah, so she might have found inspiration in the city thanks to a change in environment, only to realize that she could integrate that stuff or it inspired her to go back to Okinawa with a fresh outlook. That's that's the amazing thing about having a change in environment. Ups and downs, but they become learning lessons. Let's see what she ended up doing. I'm looking forward to it. I need to go to the batting cages. I'm pretty sure I have both the items in my inventory, yes. Oh man. This game series has turned into a treasure trove of digressions. <laughs> Phone's ringing, it's probably, yeah, alright. We're supposed to, uh, give him the monochrome bag and, uh, 
the necklace. I, s I see you bought the monochrome bag. A man of such wealth must be used to these lux must be used to these luxuries. All right, Kiryu, uh, in the last call, noticed some sound in the background. I know I've heard that before. It's the pachinko machine from uh, on Tenkaichi Street, or maybe the uh, like Tenkaichi Street leading to the theater square, but. It's largely Tenkaichi Street that has that pachinko sound. Now I want you to get 200,000 yen together. Bring the money, the necklace, and the bag to the parking lot behind the Millennium Tower. Immediately if you please. If you don't show up well, you know the consequences, don't you? This background is a clue at least. I think I've heard that at a slot parlor or something in town. I've got two choices. Track down or bring. Oh, interesting. Let's track down the collar. Oh, that's kind of neat. You get a split in how the sub story works. Where was this? I would love to see a split in the sub story. It does uh, make it uh, unfocused sometimes when it comes to writing though as much as I enjoy yeah that's the sound right here so it's around theater and Tenka Tenkaichi Street uh, there are a bunch of slot slash pachinko places that still exist why do you look so suspicious dude Yeah, when it comes to like uh, splintered stories, it's great for like the modern standard where you can choose different outcomes to get to different stories in the sub quest lines. But uh, a lot of times that also deviates or diverts resources to focusing on a narrative or an RPG focused sub story revolving around the character. I mean, if you have a lot of resources, I don't, I don't think is too much of a stretch to say that RGG Studio is not one of those studios that have an incredible amount of resources, even during this time, which is their PlayStation, second PlayStation 3 title with Yakuza. Lately, though, that has been changing, so I can't wait to see the later titles, the, the latter titles, and uh, the, why am I saying latter? Yeah, the more uh, recent titles. See how they uh, structure sub stories. They are called sub stories and not sub quests, in my opinion. And there's a big distinction in my that, that I like that they call them sub stories because you're in it for the story not not a quest not a choose your own adventure quest right I mean there is some of that just all of them lead to the same road and I accept that I'm we're not playing like a Bioware game or something where they're trying really hard to make it feel like you have an impact on the direction or give you the impression that the direction of the story is changing we're living out kitty use events that's kind of the idea uh maybe i'm listening to the background right now gotta be here somewhere yeah it's this place too There he is! <laughs> hey, you and I need to talk. Wh what? Wait, I know that voice. I figured you might. You're the one who's been calling public phones and leaving me instructions, right? Uh, how'd you know? If you're gonna call, you should have done it in someplace quieter. That's how you figured out I was here? Uh, well... Doesn't matter. I can always get my money the old-fashioned way. I'll just beat it out of you, man. Sometimes you gotta know who you're trying to beat up, dude. 
Whoops. Unless the game prevents me from... <laughs> Unless the game prevents me from... Uh, doing attack. Whoops. Wow. You block a lot, my friends. I can block too. I I'm sorry. Good for you. Are you gonna give me back whatever you took? Um, uh, I don't actually have anything. Usually, when I tell them I got something of theirs, people just bring me stuff, no questions asked. Or they try to find me to chew me out. That's when I lead them to my friends and we take whatever they got. I I'm really sorry. Here, w would this be enough to make up for everything? No. The answer is no, but I'll take it anyways. It only makes up like the resell value of the items I purchased. I mean, it it pretty much breaks us even. Fine. At least I think from the monochrome bag. Oh no, yeah, yeah, no, it's a little bit more. It's like two or three times more because the monochrome bag was like 20,000 yen. So you sell it out for 10,000. Eh, fair enough. Alright, so we did that sub story. Uh, we need to turn it to nighttime. We don't know. He went to, uh, I think he went to, it's still marked as Kamurocho though. Hmm. I wonder if they update the location of the place. I don't know where Jensei is on Sapon Street or where that would be. We can try going back to... Oh, come on, dude. I'm looking at my logs, man. Can't you see? tell you how many countless times I hit a uh, I run and then uh, he stumbles uh, Kiryu stumbles forward because of momentum or the integration of momentum and you hit the heat button and instead it only registers after he stops moving so he goes out of range of the heat and then nothing happens you just do the kick from the mist the heavy it happens so often Like, uh, it feels a little not as intuitive to me because if you're running and you're going to start to stop, you could, when, when you're approaching a target, you would naturally lean in on the thing. So the action would happen as you're coming to a stop, as opposed to it only registers after you stop. So he, uh, there's not that, uh, noise, there's not enough flexibility and in input in this game and it is very obvious like if you're going from a more modern title to to these games you'll realize that it has to be like stop action stop action like there's clear frame traps or like re frame recovery recovery frames active frames and but there's no noise so you can't uh, there's no buffering between the two so like no minus frames and positive frames in the animation things like uh thing this would be really appreciated by people who play games like from soft games where the dodging window the animations there's uh there things that you could roll into or roll out of are seemingly more intuitive with the visuals in this game just not but uh it's still true hold, holding over to the more recent games except for Q, uh the post dragon engine days so yakuza 6 and on 
which only includes really Kiwami 1 and Kiwami 2 at the moment. Uh, when it comes to like this type of combat system, the dragon system is quite more fluid than the old school. This is an old school beat em up for sure. Uh, oof. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just, this is just an annoying guy that just bugged us. Uh, oh, we're going to uh, Sushi Gin to see if we got ripped off. I think uh, to characterize it, this is the type of controls that most people who have not played games like these or an older game would call them tanky controls or maybe even use the word jank. But that's just the limitations of the way or the, the gold standards that have been refined over time. There, there is some reward. Uh, some reward to being able to know all the frame data and whatnot and time all these windows. Just that my exposure is pretty limited too. It's been a while since I played games like these. Ever since I started the Yakuza series, I'm kind of getting used to it. it. Doesn't stop me from having some uh, motor motor interference from other action games all right <clears throat> uh where are you uh-huh are you still here welcome come on in what can i make oh uh, no i mean we'll just Take your most expensive thing, the uni. But this is kind of good. Chida Shisushi? I, I am not familiar with that term. Okay. Huh. So there's no advancement in the tuna fund oh hey it's the lottery ticket guy right i wonder if he's coming hey right in front of you what something wrong no no it's just that uh well it's about the lottery ticket why am i not surprised when i took it to get the money they told me it was from a month ago why am i not surprised so it's an old ticket, and I didn't win squat. They even confirmed it with the machine. Go on. But you know what? I actually feel a huge sense of relief. I was going a bit crazy when I thought I had all that money. Good thing I found out before I quit my job. Wow, that turned out pretty well for him. He found out before that before his whole he was trying to rework his entire life and break break his uh, grind. Money makes me sick. I mean, I was acting like a raving lunatic. I imagine most people would go a little cuckoo if they thought they won that much. Deep cuts. Maybe a digression for another day. Sorry for putting you through all that drama. I can't even look at the money right now. Please take this. All right. Sure about are you sure about this? Positive. I'm going to walk home tonight and cool off in the fresh night air. So long, buddy. Very uh, quaint hot take on a sudden perspective shift, going from a you know reasonable manageable resource to an un excess of resources, uh, incredibly fast. It kind of mirrors the idea of someone who lives in a small town and suddenly discovered the city just uh, it's not a smooth transition and smooth transitions uh sharp transitions tend to be overwhelming it leads to uh compromised decision making but it's a risk some people take you know 
And we're not talking about like if you feel happy or sad about it. That's uh, individual variability. All right, so these are the girls who got ripped off by the fortune teller, and so did I. Technically, so did Kiryu. Technically. Darn, I don't see her anywhere. Maybe she ran away. Maybe someone found out she was lying. Let's try over there. I'm not going to let her get away with my money. All right, so they just keep going. They just. Oh. Did you just help us get away? Oh, uh, who, me? You're a good man. I'm confident something good will happen to you. Uh... I don't know about that. Being good and having good things happen to you. Yeah, one could say that's kind of how it works, but... Not quite that neatly. Well then, goodbye for real this time. Let me thank you by giving you this. Joy. A crystal ball. Guess we could sell it. The game literally tells you to sell it. <laughs> Probably like a hundred yen. Alright. So we saw the conclusion of that. Uh, so we just needed one more. Uh, okay. we need to turn the night. I have no idea how to trigger this. Uh... Okay. Old man's memory. Um. Uh. Be old man's memory. Oh, really? There is a sub home street? There is a sub home street. What the heck? Wow, that is a part of Kamurocho. There's something there. Wait, should I have known that? Because that's where the Su Sukita building was? Was sub home street where Sukita was? It is! Oh, I should have known that then. For whatever reason, I just didn't think it had a street name that was like that. So it's where the old uh, Sugita building was, where uh, in Yakuza 0, Kiryu uh, basically built his uh, real estate empire, in which he magically lost somehow because he went to jail. <laughs> I guess. That's a good expl explainer. It, it's actually, there's still five more years, but let's just, let's just say he went to jail and lost everything. He rise the ranks of the Dojima family, meanwhile. Suspension of disbelief. I don't want to use my boots. We'll keep it. Get up. Cheap 9 iron. 9 iron to the face. Alright. <clears throat> uh, he's standing. I guess this would be where the Sukita building would be right oh it's blocked oh interesting uh excuse me do, do you know there's a bar called jinsei somewhere around oh. here jinsei oh, oh oh yeah yeah i remember that place it was right across from us those tore down ages ago there's another building there now i see but do you know of it move somewhere else or did it just close down for good mm. good question this was back when all the land speculation stuff was going on rumor has it they needed a tidy sum to keep the land sharks at bay and i ain't talking mutant fish oh 
That's right. Now I remember. I heard it got moved over to the champion district. Yeah, that sounds about right. The champion district. Uh, the champion district it is then. Thanks. You've been a big help. All right. We got to mosey on over the champion district. So many of these uh, sub stories are serialized. So you have to complete one to gain access to another. Uh, because they're chapter dependent technically, but uh, since we're in premium adventure, it's lifted. But the serialized nature of the... Kaede? Hmm. Welcome. Have you just... Sorry, uh, something came... Okay. No? Wait. Why is this highlighted for a sub-story? Oh! Well, there you go. Uh, oops. Uh, sorry about that. You- you okay? Darn, how am I supposed to plan it when his pockets are so full? How much crap does this one guy need? Oh no, here we go. Hmm, can I help you with something? Uh, nothing, it's fine. See ya. Plan something. Oh, okay, to complete this. Oh my gosh, my inventory is full. So for the sub story to work, I need to empty. I have to literally empty my pockets. Fine game. That, that is a funny way of protecting. There we go. <coughs> Uh, yes. Huh? My wallet's gone. Hey, you stole it, didn't you? Huh? Don't play dumb with me. I know you took my wallet. Empty your pockets right now, or I'm calling the cops. What? Why would I need to do that? There it is. Somebody's wallet. Never seen it before. Hey, I said empty your pockets. I didn't steal your wallet, lady. Show me what you got then. If you didn't steal it, then you should have nothing to hide. Alright. So, what? Ara? I knew it! That's my wallet, isn't it? Is it? Not sure why I have it, but I certainly didn't steal it from you. Liar! How else would it end up in your pockets? Thief! Somebody help! Now hold on a second. Yeah. Not a police officer, just her goons? What's wrong, Mariko? This guy bothering you? Oh, oh, Toru. Thank goodness you're here. This guy stole my wallet. Oh, yeah? He looks like a thug, alright. But let's not start a riot in public. Why don't we go sell this over there, old man? Sure. Now then, hand over Mariko's wallet. Take it. Like I said, I didn't steal it. Looks like everything's still in order. I'm not missing any cards or cash. Okay, here's how we're gonna do this. You're obviously a crook, and I bet the cops will give you heck if we call them. Pickpocketing's no small offense, plus we caught you red-handed, and we got witnesses to back us up. But seeing as we don't want to disturb the peace anymore, then we already have... I'm willing to let you off easy. Mariko got her wallet back, and that's what matters. No need to involve the police and complicate things, right? Go on. So here's how this is going to play out. You pay up, let's say, a hundred thousand. And we pretend this never happened, got it? You want me to pay you a hundred thousand yen? Nah. 
I'm not giving you that much money for a wallet I didn't steal. What? Your head too far up your butt to hear what I'm saying? If you like the view so much, maybe I should shove your head up there so far I take a crowbar to pry it. It'll take a crowbar to pry it out. Or you can pay me and keep your head intact. Kids, man. Kids these days. Take him out first. Toto goes down first. It's the message that counts, you know? Foot to face. Shoe to face. Uh, what the heck? Now, how about you admit you were trying to scam me? Yeah, yeah alright. I'm sure you figured it out already. Maliko plants her wallet in somebody's bag or whatever. Makes a big deal out of getting robbed and convinces them to settle things with a payment. If they don't pay up, we come out and set them straight. A lot of people panic when they find out that they already have something, uh, somebody else's wallet. It's easy to make them pay a settlement when they're all worked up. How did you get away with this lame scam for so long? It, it worked out fine until you showed up. But let's just go, Toru. This trick isn't going to work anymore now that we've been caught. Maybe we could just find real jobs. I'm so afraid that one day we're going to try to scam someone dangerous who doesn't fall for it. You don't say. You should listen to her. Trying to pull crap like this in Kamurocho is a good way to get yourself killed. Wait now before you're bleeding out in an alley. Don't lecture me on my own trade, old man. I don't care if you want to ruin your own life. But it's not right to drag your girlfriend down with you. I'm giving you a lecture for her sake. Not for yours. Look at how scared she is. Can't you tell that she doesn't want anything to do with these schemes anymore? Huh? Is, is that true, Mariko? Uh, it, it's just... The longer you keep this up, the more danger she'll be in. The money isn't worth her life. It, maybe you're right. Guess I got some thinking to do. Let's get out of here, Mariko. Aww. Ugh. That's, oof, that one's, and there's a deep cut there too, but, uh, it's fine. Uh, where were we going? Oh, Champion District. Life's tough, man. Sometimes you gotta know who you're falling in line with. That's a thug. Oh, but we had to... No, 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 no. Where? She mentioned something about a weird guy in a white suit. Oh, both champion oh. district entrances are blocked by a goober. Alright, alright. <laughs> One thing for sure, though... Uh, after the dragon engine thing, Kiryu's face looks quite more natural. It's like, it's really angular. Uh, I mean, it's still okay in like Yakuza 0 and Iwami 1 when they're up resing the stuff. But uh, in 3, 4, and 5, his, his model is so sharp. Like... His face is so triangular. Um, the other characters I, I are more um, rounded out a bit. Like uh, in Yakuza 4, uh, Akiyama, Saijima and stuff. But his face is like... It's, it's like a combination of the thing. Just makes him feel... Make him look a little bit outworldly. It's not the case anymore. But this is legacy. So nothing too... It's understandable. Uh, 
champion district. Maybe this? Ah, oh. uh, here we go. I told you. Give me back the cash. All you got left of value in that house of yours is that fancy Buddhist altar. So you best be saying your prayers. We don't take that too. Why oh, hey, you snot-nosed punks? Huh? huh? If I'm a snot-nosed punk, then what does that make you borrowing money from from one? A stuffy old geezer? That's what. Wait and see. That's an option? Alright, let's wait and see. Rip. Oh. This ain't the last you've heard from me. You better cough up all the money next time, or you'll be coughing up blood. Well... Another person down on his times. It's definitely a classic in Champion District. Dirty rascals. Hey, what are you looking at? I'm supposed to be looking for Jinsei. Say, you wouldn't happen to have a place up on Suppone Street once hey. upon a time. Yep, sure did. Why'd you ask? Somebody's been looking for you. <sighs> Probably some debt collector waiting to shake me down. Tell him to leave me alone. Oh, rip. Hard times. Yeah, Champion District has some hard times. Found the bar for what it's worth. Guess I should go... Right. I wonder... <laughs> They're probably war buddies, or, or not war buddies, but probably go way back. Maybe even war buddies. Who knows? The guy is like 20 years Kiryu's senior. Kiryu's 39, 39, 40 right now. I think he's still 40 now, and Yakuza, the, the, um, the events of Yakuza happened in the same year. No, it was March. So he's probably 39 right now. And yeah, this guy's up here. Hey, uh, I found Jinsei for you. He's still alive and well in the champion district. Is that a fact? Would you mind taking me there? If it's not too much trouble. <sighs> Finally. I can lay this old burden to rest. Alright. You've convicted. Uh, you convinced. <laughs> you convinced me. Think you can keep up? Uh. I'll do my da darndest. Alright. Okay. We just. So. This is it. A. Eh? This is his place. Uh. Agami, it's uh, Takami, it's me, it's Saisen, Shintaru Saisen. Oh, Shintaru, another Shintaru. Saisen? Huh? Saisen, it's. It is really you? After all these years? Uh. Forgive me. Uh, Agami, I have to apologize for what I have done. What are you talking about? Back when we were working on the black market, I... I stole the money we've earned. Worse, I betrayed my friend. I, I know this won't make up for anything I've done, but... I set aside 10 million yen for you, and I want you to accept it. Wait, wait just a second. I can't take that kind of money from you. Talk at me. Be reasonable here. Yeah. Oh, uh oh. Then we gladly accept it on your behalf, right? Talk at me, son. <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect. You owe us eight million as it is, and once you tack on various fees, well, we'll call it square at a cool ten mil. Talk at me. You are in debt. You stay out of this. Enough BS. Pay up now or else. I I really want to know what uh Spison does. What are you doing? 
Hey, hey, aren't you Sison's buddy? Do something. Do so okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so they just defer to you. What? You got some kind of problem on how I go about doing things? Let's seek up, you big... Oh. Talking words. Those are them fighting words, man. Don't give me that look. Oh, now you're really getting on my nerves. Now I'm itching to beat your butt. Alright, well, I mean... <sighs> Whoa, you just evaporated through his body. Oh, hey, TV, or that looks like a CRT monitor, actually. Come on. When you're approached by Kiryu with a CRT monitor in hand, I would, I would tear her too. Oh, what the heck, man? You're done for now. Just wait until these two finish talking things through. Dog me, take, take this money, please. I can keep on going like this. Yeah. My current debts have nothing to do with you. This, this is all for my wife. Uh. It's cancer. She was in a hospital for surgery. All her treatment cost us a near fortune. We've had to work so hard for so long. All I've ever wanted was for us to spend our last years together in peace. Is that so much to ask? But... Agami. In fact, your sticky fingers led me to my wife. I lost my money and I had to sell the shop as you well know. Eventually, I wound up living and working in a sushi joint out here in Kamurocho. That's where I met her. I did hate you once upon a time when I was younger. But why hold on to old grudges? I'm content with the way things turned out. That makes all well and good for you, but not for me. Now I insist that you take this money. Hey, hey collector. Here, this is yours. All of it. Take it and never show your face around here again. Y yes, sir. Y you got it. Oh, and thanks a million. No, make that 10 million. Wow. Man, that resolution is... Alright. Huh? That run, though. Sison. Why on earth did you... Yeah. Stop. I didn't give you that money to you. I didn't give that money to you. I gave it to your wife. Out of pity for having to put up with a royal pain in a keister like you. Yeah. It's still way too much money. Oh, yeah. What say my drinks are on the house from now on? <laughs> well, if that's what you want, then those drinks better be darn strong. Now go introduce yourself to my wife. Uh. That sounds like a fine idea. I can't thank you enough for all you've done. I would never have been able to talk with my old friend without your help. All I did was bring you here. Nothing more. <laughs> Live as long as I have and you can tell. You're a man of no ordinary caliber. Won't you tell me your name? Kiryu. Kazuma Kiryu. I thank you from the bottom of my heart, Kiryu san. I'll never forget you, not as long as I live. Please accept this as a mere token of my gratitude. Now, if you'll excuse me. It's got a lot of money. Dang. Just tossing around money. Uh, it, it would be nice if he tossed me 10 million, you know? Get a, get a completion out of it. Alright, um... For the, for the secret overlords. All right, so that was pretty good. Um, the tuna fun. I don't know where this tuna fun is going, but let's uh tuna. Fun. Oh man.
There's so many. We're at 65. Oof. Uh, all right. Uh, okay. Oh. That would explain why I can't. So I think, uh, all the stuff that we can't find... It's safe to say it proceeds to Okinawa, except for the murder thing. The murder thing requires, like... The... Oh, and this thing. Always oh, carrying a bunch of weird smoking junk. A man dressed in around here lately. Maybe it's also a nighttime thing. Wait. Perhaps we should check this little alcove here. Uh oh. Oh, uh, wait, it all makes sense. This guy first shows up in Yakuza 3 before he meets Akiyama in Yakuza 4. That may, like, when we uh, encountered it just randomly in Akiyama when he was clearing out the, the, the sewers, like the below, below the Millennium Tower area. It's like, what the heck? Why does it look like this is a callback? It was a callback. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, you look like a promising subject. Come on in then. Come on then. I'll take your 100,000 yen now. I'm not giving you money for no reason. What exactly am I paying 100,000 yen for? Inexperience, my friend. In experience, you could go your entire life without having otherwise. You look the type who could handle it. <laughs> but it's a battle you'll never be able to win without sufficient mental toughness. If you're confident in your strength, I'll take your 100,000 yen now. Did I pay him? Let's go. Congratulations. You're my first customer since I arrived here. I don't think too much about that. What's your name? Kiryu. Kiryu-kun, eh? My name's Minamita. Uh, Minamita. Minamita? Yeah, Minamita. It wasn't so long ago that people from all over the world knew the name Dr. Minamita. Never heard of you. Sorry. You haven't? Well, never mind. Shall we get started? Oh, oh, okay. This isn't the ex. Uh, this uh, this isn't the experience you were talking about, is it? No, I never seen these men before. Hey, old man, we're here to try to sell something here. You know whose territory this is. You're selling something pretty expensive from what we hear. What is it, anyway? I'm afraid that's a trade secret. I can tell you unless you pay- I can't tell you unless you pay first. Yeah? Right. We're here to smash that trade secret of yours to pieces. Unless you want to start paying us protection money, that- uh, Unless you're- Unless you want to start paying us protection money, that is. Hey? <sighs> But with what? I have nothing but you see right here. <laughs> but I'm going to make some money soon. Well, hopefully. If you if things work out, I'll be more than happy to pay you. Huh? What the heck are you going on about? We'll teach you not to bring BS like that in our territory. Who's, whose territory is this? If you know what's good for you, you won't be sticking your nose where it don't belong. I don't plan to. I'm just asking. Whose territory is it? What's it up to you, huh? What's it to you, huh? Fine, whatever. This is the territory of the Shiragi family? A substitute. I mean, it's Tojo clan, fair enough. Everybody knows us around here. 
What? Too scared to talk now? Never heard of that family. You watch it, old man. We've been picking up nice. Uh, we've been pretty nice up till now, but you're pushing it. <sighs> Kitty is right. I don't remember the names of family that use violence to terrorize innocent people. Anyway, this man promised me an experience I've never had before, but this isn't it. What the heck are you two of, two of you yapping about? I've had enough of this. Let's kick both of their butts. No, 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 no. Hojo clan skipping out, man. Not even filling in on who, who Kiryu is, right? Every single time, man. Every time, man, some some subdivision of a small family don't even know who the fourth ex-former uh, chairman of the Tojo clan is. Uh, hey, hey, you can't do that to us. You have any idea that kind of trouble you just got yourself into? That's a question I should be asking you. I don't have any patience for idiots who don't even know their own organization. Uh... What are you, an executive of the Tojo clan or something? Um, uh, never mind. No need to answer that. We'll just disappear. It'll be like we'd never, we're, we were never here. Just, just let us go, please. Get moving. Alright, what is this, uh, back to the future stuff, you know? Alright. Or it could be, um, I mean, that reminds me of Wiley more. That's definitely a Back to the Future. There. I suppose I should thank you. No need. That kind of thing happens to me a lot, actually. Now, what's this experience you were talking about? Ah, yes. As I said, my name is Mita Mita. In the world of video games, the name Dr. Mita Mita is reasonably famous. I guess it doesn't mean anything in the city, though. Until last month. I was running a small game development company. We developed the smash hit YF6. I don't think there's a hidden meaning to that, is there? I I thought about the same thing when he brought it up again in Yakuza 4. YF6. Alright. And the success was helping us grow. YF6. I played that game. But what's this machine? My latest invention. Inner Fighter 7. The ultimate arcade machine. It's a prototype. The only one in existence. Arcade machine? Indeed. A game machine such as you might find in an arcade. So this experience is a video game. <laughs> in so many ways, yet yeah, uh, In so many words, yes. But this game is utterly unlike any game you've ever played. What's different about it? This machine allows players to pay the play the game inside their very brains. Use bleeding edge technology and special electromagnetic waves to make you feel like you're actually in the game fighting the enemies. What? If that were possible, it would be the invention of a century. And not just for the gaming world, either. Perceptive. Perceptive. You're quite right about that. It is indeed a great invention, but it is not without its problems. What problems? It seems that only people who have actually experienced physical fighting for their lives are able to conjure, suitable, uh, conjure up suitable opponents. I mean, yeah. That checks out. I tried testing it on a high school student. But he ended up facing a two meter fire breathing dragon. The poor boy ran home crying. And there was someone else who accused me of using hypnosis to trick him. Like I would use such quackery. But regardless, I can't get anyone to recognize how amazing this is. So you couldn't sell it and went bankrupt. Mm. Well, that was part of why we went bankrupt. But there was another reason as well. Hmm? But that's enough of me. I'm sure you're eager to give my invention a try. Am I right? Okay, I'll try it. 
You fight on a daily basis, don't you? I'm sure you'll be able to generate a suitable opponent. I can't wait to see what happens. Now then, please sit down. Okay. Here we go. All right. There's still a lot I need to explain, but for now, why don't you just have a look for yourself? You have to enter your name on the entry screen. What was it to you say? What was it you said your name was again? Kiryu. That's K I R Y U, correct? Got it. From what I can tell, a player's health in IF7 depends on what level their soul is. Whatever that means. Okay. If your soul level is high enough, you won't be able to tell how much health your opponent has. But I think you'll be just fine. Now, let us get this experiment underway. Oh, snap! Oh, that's cool! The Tamashiro boss. Oh, and there's a timer. Oh, man. Alright. Dang it. Wow, he armored through that. Holy heck. I don't know if it's alluding to Virtual Fighter 6, but they just call it Inner Fighter 6 because if you think about Virtual Fighter, like the virtual word, it's so this is a fighter game or it's displayed like a fighter game. Maybe they're making. Uh, reference to their own virtual fighter line. You learn fist weapons. Oh, so he's the trainer. That makes sense. Okay. All right. How was it? Truly an incredible experience, wasn't it? Yeah, I faced a man I fought before. <laughs> Did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, actually, I think I learned some new moves. I'd like to keep using your machine in the future, if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, by all means, by all means. The next time you want to play, I'll only charge you 10,000 yen, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again. From 10, 100,000 yen to 10,000? That's a pretty big discount. Simply put, you're the only one I found who could handle playing the game. If I make it cheaper, you'll want to play again, right? I can't pass up this chance to finally test my invention. I see. Guess our interests overlap then. I'll definitely be back. Wonderful. I'll be waiting. Oh, just a moment. Tell me your email address, won't you? I'll contact you if there are any new developments. Sure. So he's the other trainer. For more weapons. So if I walk away, right? I mean, can I just talk to him and finish the training? Huh. Alright. Cool. An analysis of your brain waves have revealed the following opponents. I've given each of them appropriate titles. Which of these opponents do you wish to fight? Holy heck! Okay, let's start from the top. A lethal warrior. This character appears to be based on your memory of fighting someone skilled with weapons. He might not be per 
precisely the same as yours, though. You want to fight the lethal war? Wait, wait, wait. Is it the same one? I don't, I don't know. Hmm. All right, then. Uh, hopefully they don't overlap. Like, they remove the list as we keep going. All right, all right, all right. We know how this goes. Let's go. That's so funny. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, it is. It does count. All right. What happens if you beat the same guy over and over again? Can I just brute force him down now? Just line it up with the, like, the last... Oh, no. No, it's not. I, uh, we should just wait. The furniture got in the way. Couldn't rotate out. I wish he would stop overturning. Yeah, he keeps overturning because of the way the extended uh, evasion works. Over evading over and over again. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. It doesn't delist. Okay, it doesn't delist a person. Okay. Greedy okay. giant. Physical strength, okay. Okay, lock and load. Uh, this reminds me of uh, the, what do you call those? The dives in uh, Cyberpunk. Oh, oh no, he can pick them up? Ah, uh, it's so annoying. Whoa. Takes, he's so weak. Wait. Oh. 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 He's different. Okay. Okay. Wow. He doesn't drop that at all. Even with a... Can you stop cheating, please? Oh wait, I can just tiger drop. What am I doing? Haha! <laughs> Pick it up, I dare you. Let's go. Oh. Just kidding, just kidding! Dude, how many... Oh, he's getting bigger. Holy heck. Get tiger dropped, you butthead. He just kept getting bigger. Oh, that's kind of neat. There's different twists on them. Alright. Yeah, I felt that something was burned in my brain like I used... Okay. Essence of Might. A big move on leash when I learn. Grab any... Ooh. 
Neat. No one called for you. Uh, okay. All right. Um. Wow, oh, one ten. Huh. All right. One eye demon. Which one was that? Oh, uh, Amazaki? No. I don't think we fought Hamazaki, did we? Might be Hamazaki. Oh! Majima! In the ring, that's right. Just combos weren't like eternity. I just tiger punch the crap out of him. Majima. Yeah. They, he reopened the Coliseum ring when we were looking for the Floris. And then we found Majima instead. Smoke break. Take a moment for a leisurely smoke in front of you. What the heck? Alright. I don't know how I feel about that one. Avenging Zerker. Okay. Hmm. Three of them at once? Turned me around with just one. I want to get the claw guy. The claw guy's more aggressive. Yeah, that turnaround. The the turnaround heavy is a mechanic that I feel like hurts you more than or than anything. Multiple targeting in any Yakuza game is like torture. Because you can't, if they don't have smart targeting, where it's like based on proximity, so you always get roughed up even if you have reversals. It's kind of ironic because Tanimura is the only one that has a universal reversal. <laughs> I guess you just beat up on one of them. The more aggressive guy. Unless you basically just get blocked out and then clinched to death. 
Yep, just constant clinching over and over again. That is so annoying that there are multiple of them. I'm gonna get chipped out. Alright, that's aggressively toxic. Especially when they read inputs and they always twirl around to the other side. And I just got chipped out out of time because it's so freaking aggravating how, how much hit stun you get from three weapons. Oh, actually, two weapons. The guy with the fist doesn't have a... Have a weapon. We could... No, we can't. Because they'll just surround you over and over again. Quick stepping's out of the question because both of them will attack you and hit stun you from behind every time you quick step around. So, uh, you can try to chip and run away. And just keep them in front of you. Or, I could try throwing them, actually. Okay. I could also try drop kicking for the first time ever. No, nope. auto stand. Auto stand and hit stun from behind. Preemptive attacks take priority over hit, hit stunning. Just block out the weapon. Yep. They just attack way more. And they all have uh, they all have armor too from the front. He turns around and have hit harm. Also armor from behind too. Auto stand armor from the behind. That's so cheap. 270 spin too on one of the targets. Counter, count, guard, guard counter. Like this is like super toxic. I don't think we need to do this one, I'm not sure. Yeah, and then they just keep blocking, so it's... It's timed. And we have to be aggressive because it's timed. Yeah, that's so cheap. This is easily one of the cheapest combinations. You can't even hit all three of them because of blocking. And that other guy has an auto windmill. Uh. Yeah, all of them has uh, guard crushing. So if you hit them like two or three times, they guard crush with armor. And they don't have hits done from behind. And getting behind gets you knocked into hits done by the other three. Uh. We can go back to uh, what we were doing earlier and hope for tiger drops on the one that's most aggressive. It's usually a very reliable source of damage. Trading is not out of the question. It's kind of like a Hanamura's uh, final boss fight we did yesterday. When you're trading, you're losing because they have more actions no matter what. And it turns you around. I can't believe that attack is Tanyamara's turnaround attack. 
We can't uh, hit the polearm guy. The polearm guy is out of reach. The heck? It keeps targeting the wrong person. You can only tar tiger drop the one you're targeting. But the problem is, since there are multiples of them, it's it keeps targeting the wrong one. And you don't really get to choose. You just hope it's the one that you're targeting. See, it's it's the wrong one. Constantly the wrong one. Alright. Nope. Pointing at the wrong one. Alright. Oh, that should have connected. What the heck? Reliable tiger drop, I guess. Not the greatest, but good enough. True Lotus Flare Fist. Is this the one during quick quick stepping? He charges up while holding Y when using Lotus Flare Fist? I'm pretty sure that's the quick step one. Lotus Flare Lotus Flare Oh, oh That's not that bad if we had a heat action that can be triggered while standing I guess you can do the tumble ah. All right, here's the hoping no guns no guns and multiple units. That's kind of... I thought this was going to be one on one Ethereal Fighting God. Hmm. The last one is, uh... Mino. I don't know what this one is. Maybe... Ham I don't remember fighting Hamazaki. What was Hamazaki's boss fight light? Oh, this is, uh, yeah, this is Cosmo's brother. Oh! Oh, that is so confusing! That's a clever mix-up. Oh no. I don't know if I have the same, uh... Hit. When we're switching places. He has the one frame active and it's just so random that I can't interact with, which is so annoying. Come on. Wait, so he tiger dropped me instead? I'm a little confused. Oh, 
I don't know. Maybe I'm not supposed to be attacking when I'm, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, it's not like a regular fighting game. You actually have to kill him within the time limit. Okay. I thought you just time out based on life, but okay. Fair enough. I was actually playing the timer, but uh, that's not the case. Normal beat him up rules. You actually have to win, win by knockout. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, waiting for him to attack is not good. We have to brute force him down. He doesn't attack too frequently. Nice spacing. Had to wait. It doesn't actually work when I'm um, swapping places. Dragon God Defense. LB when it enables you to defense against. Alright, alright. Fair enough. That's actually kind of useful. I like that. Alright. Alright. Ah. Last one. This is the Mino fight. At least I think this is the Mino fight. Only one boss left that I can remember. Oh, what? Oh, no. Okay. Whoa, he has so much life. Holy heck. But this does show all of Kiryu's weaknesses. Yeah, Kiryu is so weak when it comes to like being red. Yeah, and his recovery is so weak too. Huh. 
Huh. I get drop. At least I know how Kiryu operates. <laughs> His attacks are really slow in general. Do you get anything? I don't know. Oh, Asura's spirit is just the one to recover health with. Oh, okay. Alright. We did it. That was some fast XP, though. Doesn't really help with our completion. <laughs> I don't know if you need to learn all the skills for completion of the game. Alright. So, that's where the... Okay, so that was the thing with the NPCs talking about the thing. Uh, the weird uh, guy in a white lab coat. Okay, um... Let's try to solve this mystery, this murder mystery. I haven't done this. Okay. Uh, yeah, we have to go at night and then. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Cute. Very cute. The mo uh what's his name? Kong Long was not great. I don't remember fighting him. On the hilltops. Uh on the the location was um where we uh, previously, uh, as Majima fought Ashiwagi. Oh wait, I do know. But, is it really in this game? Huh. Well, we'll eventually do our legend run to remind ourselves of the events of this game. Not too bad. Uh, we get a choice now. Uh, down. An additional attack for he action using walls, platforms, and super finishes. Extra. Oh, these are the. Move the cursor up and down, then move to, from the ability you want to acquire. Yeah, we already knew that. Um, an additional attack for heat actions using walls, platforms, and super finishes. Well, that doesn't. Happen at often. When surrounded, I cannot execute. Repeated when surrounded. An ancient role executed when surrounded by enemies. Rapidly tap B when surrounded. Interesting. Oh yes, give me this. Boost combo speed. Give me this. Any day, all day, and every day. A quick step executed during a rush hour cannot be performed. Oh hey. Oh, but it's only when not in heat. Oh, quick step cancel was in a calm state before. That's kind of. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. Uh, all right. I have to go to a uh, new Saturna to to change the time of day. Ah, <gasps> oh, man, I'm still getting over. I'm still sobering up a little bit from uh, Yakuza, Yakuza 4's uh, MSQ play yesterday. The MSQ only play. It was so good. Man. And the ending? The little ending? Ah. Uh, okay. 
Makes you want to jump right into Yakuza 5. Uh, okay. Do I talk to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, are you oh, are you seriously telling me that I have to go to Morning Glory? Wait. Date, tell me. Date son, do you know anything about a Cafe Owl's murder from six years ago? Six years ago? Sounds kind of familiar. Sorry though, I uh, okay. I was already in division four. Yeah, Bloody that's now. fair. That lines up. I mean tons of crime happen. How am I supposed to remember them all? A little, a nice little uh, chit chat with Date san. Mama. A little tired. Oh, here it is. We had to go to Mama. Thank goodness. I was a little worried for a moment. I was like, no, do we really have to go all the way back to Morning Glory? That's what I assumed. But good. Good. Thank goodness. All right. We just have to ask Mama. Okay. There's some part of me that want uh, Date to be to be like more in in this again, but uh, at the same time, there's so many potential characters. Uh, all right, Cafe Alps. Hmm. Nighttime. I see a lot of nighttime, uh, nighttime sub stories. I guess we'll just have to wait on the Cafe Alps thing. <laughs> I see a lot of sub stories for fun. Let's go. Let's go. What's over here. That looks like Date son. What are you doing, Date? Date-san, what are you doing here? Oh, oh, Kiryu. I, uh, just here on an errand. Errand. What happened to be... Wh what happened to watching Haruka? Oh, oh, I, uh, told her I was going shopping. She's over here in Sadana right now, so I really should be heading back. Well, are you going inside or not? Just staring at the window won't help. Uh, no, I was just window shopping, that's all. You sure about that? Looks to me like you came here to buy someone a gift. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I don't really know what to get. Who's it for? You swear not to laugh? Yeah. It's for Mama. Oh, that's cute. You know, the owner of Serena. Wait. I wonder if they get hitched later, but he's joining the force again after Yakuza 4. Hmm. Ah, you do have a thing for her. I was right after all. What do you mean you were right? How about you get right out of my business? Uh, I could, but I find your business with Mama is way more interesting. So, you're gonna buy her a present, huh? Oh, I get it. Why would a beautiful young woman go out with a lonely old fart like me, right? Nah, that's not. I was just pulling your leg. You know I stand behind you. Yeah, stand behind me when I crash and burn. Well, at least I got that off my chest. Now let's just get this over with. Alright, alright, that day. I've got to ask you, Date-san. How do you find out Mama's ring size? That's a that's a fair question. Oh. Eh, 
Another trick of the trade. I told Mama I was getting a ring for my daughter, then just slipped the question in there. He never suspected a thing. Right. Daya-chan must have been a young adult now, but Date-san, I never knew you were such a sly devil. Daya-chan's his uh, daughter's name. Ah, well, you have to be if you want to live to be my age. I'm sure you gained a lot of wisdom from previous marriages too. By the way, was it you who helped Mama get settled in Serena? Yeah, after what happened to Reina, no one would rent the property. People thought some kind of curse hung over the place. Rip Reina. And Mama didn't mind that? Not one bit. The price had gone so cheap she was practically begging me for the details. I see. I gotta say. I've never seen a lady with that much spunk. She's probably do well no matter where she set up shop. Is that what you like about her? Maybe so. Mama really accept a ring from Tate-san? Guess I'll have to find out. Wait. Oh, so we're heading back together? Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. Oh, yeah, we are. Interesting. Date-san, pick up your feet. You need to get out some more. Pick up those feet. We're, we're doing some cardio today. Whoops. By walking, by running up the wrong street. Come on, Date-san. Pick up those legs. Up, one, two, three, four. Up, one, two, three, four. You're getting old, man. don't remember how old he is. I think he's in his like mid 50s now. Oh, come on. Can't you see it's just two bros having a leg day, my man? Oops, I hit the wrong button. Wait. I want to do this. Ooh. Yes. That's the stuff I want. Where's the other guy at? Alright. Come back here. Whoa! Wait. Date, did you just hit me? Wait, did Date just hit me? Whoa, wait. Oh, I wanted to fling him around. It's one of the fun parts in this game. Stop giving me these creepy dolls. Come on, Date-san. Post haste. Oh, is that right? So you've been on board uh, abroad this whole time? Yeah, somewhere real far. I only came back to Kamurocho because, well, let's just say I wanted to pay a special visit to a special someone. <laughs> well, hello, boys. Nice of you to show up. If you're looking for Haruka-chan, she's in the back. He's a new customer. Haven't seen him around here before. Hey. Yes, he says he's been overseas. Apparently, there's someone in Kamurocho he came back to visit. Is everyone all right? Yeah. Oh, uh, I was wondering if I could speak with you a moment. Why so formal all of a sudden? I'll take the check, Mama. Sure, hun. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, it's a special cutscene. Osakini. Oh, oh. Say what? Mama. Kore
まママもう伊達さんって冗談ばっかりこれさやちゃんに渡す指輪でしょいや違うんだこれはママに本気なのあ,あもちろんママ俺はずっと出てってえ帰ってくれる今日はもうお店を閉めるからいやその伊達さんここまでお世話になっていて申し訳ないけど二度とお店に来ないでえっわっわっわっ I never want to see you here again What did I do to deserve that? Don't worry, Date san. It's really nothing you did. You should probably call it a night. I'll see if I can talk to her for you. Thanks, Gideon. I owe you one. What? What? What the heck? Wasn't, wasn't that a bit too harsh? Kiryu-san. Date-san was serious, you know. His heart was in that ring. Did, did I ever tell you I was married once? No. Well, it was a long time ago. So that means you're divorced? No. That's not what happened at all. Oh no, is she gonna do the... He's scared to be widowed? again or widower or like she's a widow probably the guy was in a line of uh, in a line of jobs that not very really scared of losing the person so she doesn't want to get close to someone and date uh right now is a journalist though but he's not in like the police force anymore right now or actually he's no he, actually this one no, he might actually still be in the police force. I don't... He was a journalist in Yakuza 4. But I kind of don't remember when he quit the police force. This one, I think he's still in the police force. Uh, he's doing the digging on uh, the minister and the minister of defense and stuff, I think. We really got to remind ourselves what happened. But... Uh, she might be the one where something bad happened to her previous husband and it was because of his uh because of her husband's previous work let's find out if that's the case then uh the other alternative is probably a fear of rejection or betrayal but i don't feel that's the type of reaction that you would get it's more post trauma from a lost one. My husband, he died. Well, there we go. He was a police officer, you know. Died in the line of duty. And Date san is still part of the police force right now. He calls it quits uh, it, after this. And then in Yakuza 4, he became a journalist. And then at the end of Yakuza 4, he goes back to the force. So, if we had to imply in between, him and Mama didn't work out. Either way. But maybe. Maybe he convinced her at the end of this. I hope so. It'd be nice. Date, uh, Date san, his, uh, when Kiryu first met him, doing a deep dive investigation for Division 4 in the bar Shellac. I think it was in Shellac. Um,. He uh, basically fell down in hard times. He used to be at the top of the police force, but his wife then divorced him and his daughter became estranged for a moment. But when he met Kiryu, Kiryu helped patch up, uh, help Date-san with his daughter Saya, Saya. And now he's like still doing his thing, but he's no longer in touch with his wife, his ex-wife. Over the police thing, too. 
Dante song was to write a detective. Yeah. Well, I suppose I should fill you in. One day I was, let's just say I was in the wrong place at the wrong time and a robber took me hostage. Really? How did you make it out? It was my husband. He sacrificed his life for me. Look, I know Dante-san left the forest to be a general. Oh, okay. So he did leave the forest. He's a generalist here too. Fair enough. Yeah, because the only scene I remember, he didn't really do anything for the police. He uh, gave us all the information about Hamazaki, Mino, and uh, I forgot what the fat bald guy's name. Uh, the guy that threw chairs and statues and stuff at us. Uh, who uh, took over Nishiki's family. Anyways. <clears throat> Look, I know Date-san left the force to be a journalist. But there's just something about him that makes me think of my husband. It's too much for me to handle. Yep, that's post-trauma, alright. Maybe they might be similar in some ways, but Date-san's his own man. Even so, I just can't erase that horrible memory. Every time I think of Date-san as a detective, images of what happened that day flashes through my mind. I just can't block them out. That's why I can't see him. Please tell him I'm sorry. Oof. Poor Date. That they resolved it somehow, because in Yakuza 4, for a brief moment, just near the end, at the very end of Yakuza, we do find that Date... Uh, oh, actually, we didn't. We found that Date... We, it's implied that Date-san is still talking with Mama. But she, Mama, was not uh, there. Date-san was handling her while she was uh, handling the bar while she was on vacation. Probably somewhere in the area. Bontam? He's probably at Bontam. Come on. Whenever uh, Date-san is down... He goes, he goes to get a drink. And the local hangout between Kiryu and Date-san is Bontam. So, if this checks out, it's Bontam. If it doesn't check out, oh, that's a lost detail. But I'm, I'm almost certain that it has to be Bontam. There is a question mark over it already, so... It's looking likely that's the case. Hold on, bro. Brother Kiryu is on the job. Can't let Date son freaking. Don't you dare make him a martyr. Martyr of love. Alright. Alright. I don't want your comfy souls. Really? They put a guy right there. Wait, can we RP walk across? <laughs> That guy's up to no good. Oh, is it not Bon Tom? <gasps> Whoa, but something else. Oh, it's not Bon Tom? Oh, man. But who's this? Detective Maeda of the Kamurocho Police? Why does Maeda sound so familiar? Mm hmm? Oh. What a surprise, if it isn't the fourth chairman of the Tojo clan. You know who I am? Hey, you're famous in this town. So what does the fourth chairman want with me anyway? I want to ask you about the Cafe Alps murder from six years ago. Oh, this thing. 
Oh, that crap storm? Yeah, that was my case. What do you want to reopen that can of worms now? I'm trying to find out whether Yuichi Akechi really committed that murder or not. <laughs> what? Are you serious? Are you saying... Are you saying you think he was falsely charged? Not a chance in the world. No, why not? We aren't stupid, you know? The police don't arrest people without proof. We have plenty of evidence saying Akechi was the murderer. What kind of evidence? Mm. We had alibis, witness statements, fingerprints, and a motive. That did it. That does sound pretty ironclad. We're going into monk style now. Got all that evidence. Could you tell me a little bit more about it? Sure, I guess. Well, don't just stand there. Have a seat. Okay. Let's see, what to ask? Tell me about the alibis. As part of our initial investigation, we interviewed everyone who may have been involved in the crime. In the end, the only person without one was Akechi. Okay, so he didn't have an alibi. Nobody else could have murdered Oda. Was it Oba or Oda? Yes, we got two choices. Either we find Yuichi an alibi or find a flaw in one of the others. Okay. Tell me about witness statements. Somebody witnessed Yuichi Akechi fleeing the scene just after the crime. I heard about that. The waiter. Masaru Kinoshi, uh, Kinoshita. Gave a statement saying he saw Akechi. Uh, if it was me, I probably think I did it too. I wonder how I can refute. Okay. So we have to go find him. Motives. Tell me about the motive. Oh, it's the cheating. The affair. Yuichi Akechi had plenty of motives to kill the victim, Oda. You mean because Oda was sleeping with Yuichi's girlfriend? The Wako Usami. Big go. And we didn't find anybody else who might have had a reason to kill Oda. They didn't find anybody else. But what if someone else did have a reason to kill Oda? The sister? Or not the sister, but uh... Maybe jealousy? Hmm. Let's see. What to ask? There are a lot of play that's that could be any but just not having enough information that part. <clears throat> Tell me about the fingerprints. The deciding factor in Akechi's arrest was his fingerprints. Okay. We took and compared fingerprints from each employee with those found on the marijuana, but the only one that matched okay. Concluded that the only the that the other prints came from cafe customers and so were unrelated. Okay. The pretty conclusion was AG really the only person involved who had fingerprints. I mean, okay. So there you go, solid <laughs> evidence. But if you think we made a mistake, I'm sure I sure like to hear it. Hmm. All right. Do you know what the Cafe Alp staff from back then are doing nowadays? Mm. Sure, I can tell you that much, but I doubt you'll get anything new from them. Okay, guess my next step is to go visit the people involved. The florist might know something too. Alright. Ooh, this is deep for one. This is pretty deep. Oh, what is this? I hope he's not hiding something from me. But what? What even if he is? What can I possibly do? Bartender, I'll have a drink if you please. Very well, sir. Here you are, sir. Please enjoy. Um, would you happen to be Kiryu san by any chance? That's me. Who's asking? 
Uh, sorry to come up and talk to you so suddenly, but I'm Ryoko Sato. I heard about you from my husband, Sato. Your husband? Yes. In the past, he used to work for a particular family. I'm sure you know what kind. Well, he was always going on and on about this amazing guy from Kamurocho. Sato. Dojima? You showed me your picture in a magazine once, and that's how I recognize you. I see. So what did you want from me? My, hub is, my husband, he's... I think he's planning to murder someone. Please, you gotta help him somehow. Uh, slow down a minute. What makes you think he wants to do that? Well, back when he married me, he was able to wash his hands of the business and work a normal job. He started working part-time in a restaurant, and we've been able to meet, uh, make ends meet with both of us, bringing him, uh, bringing home a check. But late, n late one night, I saw him alone with a knife, sharpening it in the shadows. He must have thought no one was watching. Not only that, but he's making those secretive calls to someone I don't know. I'm thinking maybe one of his old associates, and that's who gave him the order. Come to think of it, he's been doing a lot of strange things lately. Confirmation bias. We've been eating out a lot more. He buys me clothes. He keeps taking me on these tips, uh, trips, but we don't have that kind of money. None of it added up. And then it dawned on me. My husband must be working another job behind my back. That's the only explanation. But a sketch job or just another job? He promised me on our wedding day that he'd never make me cry again, but now he goes and does this? Maybe he's been pulled into something against his will. There's no way for me to know that, but if that is really true, I'd do anything to get him out of it. Oh, how could he forget our wedding vows? I thought he was a changed man. I'm begging you, Kiryu-san. Find out if my husband's up to something vile, and if he is, put a stop to it. You're the only one who can, well, not really, but pretty, pretty good. Well, all right. I suppose I can be of some help. What exactly is it that you want me to do? Oh, thank you. So my husband should be hitting the Mahjong parlor at about this time. You should be able to spot him immediately since he's usually covered head to toe in bright red sportswear. Bright red sportswear. A man in red sports wear. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is find out where my husband keeps going when he's done gambling. And when you figure out, would you please give me a call? All you want to know is where he's been shuffling off to. Okay, I think I can do that. Thank you. Truly. I don't know who else I can turn to at this point. Lots of stuff. That's quite a lot of stuff. Actually... How's our darts? What do we need to do? Oh, we need to beat darts, peeps. You know, let's give darts a little go here. Oh, we're here. Break up. Break up the sub story. Okay. And we have to play them in all the games. Okay. Just go with the smallest one. Let's see if we still got this. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. This is a countdown. So. Uh... Wow. 
even even the beginner can hit trip trip 20s thing I thought there was going to be a chance that I bust by accident if I went from that. That kind of sucks. I pulled a lot harder. Hmm. Let's not do that again, okay? I just want to set it up for one and then we just get it that way so we can get it in three rounds maybe that's good enough to beat the next two diffs maybe That might be a bad decision, actually. I might have made a mistake. Maybe one is not reliable. Uh, you wanna... So we gotta think about how we're gonna hit other targets at some point. Trying to fill the stick out. Okay. Oh, cricket's gonna be rough. Oh my gosh. Uh, we can focus first on just uh, uh, getting marks and just focus on the marks that the other dude is not going to get and we're just going to race. Okay. like full force and no force at all <laughs> so 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 difficult in this game with get the game pad Right. I forgot about the overkill. So we can't like score it too many times. Right. So we need to uh get our Okay. Uh all right. Hmm. 
wait oh can you not get more than 200 oh is it 250 is the cap all right so we're closing off the score oh okay um <laughs> rip <laughs> it's so hard to uh I have to get used to uh, how to adjust. Maybe like here. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> I'm not hitting my mark at all. Now where I think it's landing. Need to adjust. It's not gonna be enough to win the other ones. All right, we're doing count up now. Just fine too. Quick is gonna be the problem. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have a problem with cricket. I'm trying to observe the distance between where it's pointed, where it's returned, and then how far my uh, stick is going back and forth. There's like three states of the stick. Uh, the floater, the mid, which is really straight, and then I don't know what happens when you pull super far, but we don't need the super far pull. So we have either straight on or a floater, and I'm trying to judge the distance between the aiming and the pullback in the position to hopefully get some sort of consistency. <laughs> Alright. So let's see if we can do the intermediate guy. Oh, and the score goes up. I see. Interesting. More consistency game.
That is unfortunate. <laughs> see why it like drifts kinda This is uh, one of my strongest mini games next to bowling. It's a kind of a tie between bowling and and the darts. Then comes batting. Batting's on the bottom. Golf is a little bit a bit above batting. cricket right now <laughs> just uh getting more experience between the hand-eye coordination and the feel I'm getting right in the zone, like right where I think I am. Right, a little bit up and a little bit down helps me figure out how I can get it to go straight or the floater on my uh, right analog stick right now. Ooh, I accidentally pulled too far down that time. <laughs> there was a little bit of a drift there. That might not be good enough for expert. All right, cricket time. So 250 is probably over. So we want to get like, we want to score 200 points right away. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> Rip. 18's already closed off. Okay. Hmm. 
machen. Hm. Yeah, it's a close off 20 at some point. There it is. 20 is closed off. Oh no, he opened 19 already. That's bad. Uh, I guess we close off 18. Hopefully. <laughs> Rip. to try to close off 19. Oh, that's going to be tough. <laughs> it like rapidly goes from soft to hard to... I think I got it. I'm gonna take a little practice where the where the strength spot is. I know round. So if I like do this, right? Okay. Try that again. Okay, I think I got it. I think I understand how I'm gonna approach this. Let's find out. <laughs> uh, it's not reliable. <sighs> okay. <laughs> it's not reliable yet. I feel like I'm 50-50 right now. Alright, we're going to advance. Oh, it just keeps climbing. I like this. Alright, I like the climb. The climb's great. Don't you, don't you 18 ton me. It's not that time yet. Still one more opponent. Stop it! It's putting too much pressure on me. Oh my gosh. Your butt hit. Don't you ever screw up? 
Oh no, you don't. Oh, you definitely don't screw up. Rip 17s. That's tough. I guess we can try for the trip 17 first. <laughs> Rip. The goal we go is the top least to most, so we're hoping to get this one right here. <laughs> Rip. Uh, five, okay. <laughs> Double five. Dang. Oh, they can bus. Okay. Cool. <laughs> he was going to get it eventually. We're too inconsistent. We gave up like four chances. I mean, it was bound to happen. And that's gonna freaking suck. Because I still can't get it. it. It feels like I'm off. I'm hitting high at each time. I'm hitting higher than I think I am. So first, we have to actually beat him in the Trip 20 game, which is looking very unlikely, because the guy is more consistent. about the same consistency at this
Trip 17s. So what, I hit higher than I thought? So... Maybe like here? Trip. Trip 20s and trip 19s. Try for trip 19. Yeah, I don't understand. Doesn't make any sense to me uh, why it varies like that. To the to the to the right. To our favor, actually. <clears throat> uh, go fifteen. What the? Why did it go all the way to the right? It happens every time you pull back really far. I guess instead... Just jiggled out of place. Like I'm, yeah. It's it's so lame. Like when you go off axis, it just never hits the right place. Hey you, you here to play darts, man? Who are you? The name's Masaki. Listen, you see that girl over there? Took a, a lot for her to go out with me, so now I got to make sure I impress her. Please, if you could lose a game of darts against me, I'll definitely make it worth your while, I promise. Alright, sure. Well, alright, I guess I could stand the game. Thank you so much. Could you come over here for a sec? Oh, no, chan This guy wants to play darts, so I'm just gonna have a quick round with him, okay? Oh, okay. I didn't know you played darts, Masaki-kun. Sure I can. I don't want to brag, but I'm pretty famous for it around in these parts. Anyhow, I better go get ready. Gotta check the shafts and flights and stuff. I'll be right back, alright? Excuse me, but did he ask you to lose on purpose? You're pretty sharp. He probably just wants to show off. That's what he always does, and I'm kind of sick of it. Would you beat the pants off him? Maybe that'll teach him a lesson? Oh, oops. He's coming back. Don't forget what I said, okay? Dang. My dogs are ready. How about... Alright. We'll play a game of... Yeah. Ready? Let's go. Alright. Um... 
I was gonna say I could use this opportunity to practice, but okay, sure. It's always a little bit to the right. It's like my it's like my analog stick is drifting to the right or something that I'm not aware of. You heard the lady. The moment there, I thought I got hustled on the, on the first round. Uh, trip 17. So let's just go for like the stuff. So, like, we're here, right? Okay, so it goes a little lower than it. So if I go up here. Okay. We'll try not to lose this though. So I still need to aim a little bit higher. Try for this, right? So if I'm aiming here, I'm gonna go a little higher. Hmm. A little to the left. All right, so. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got a system I can work with. No! We had a deal! Okay, don't take it too hard. There's always going to be someone better out there. But, I know. Why don't you teach me how to play? You're so good at darts, I never thought I could match up. But with a few lessons, maybe we could play together. If we're going to date... It'd be more fun to play each against each other, right? Oh, Kanai-chan, let's... Let me go get the car. I know a great restaurant we can go to. Those glasses, though. Thank you so much. You've gotten... You've gotten Misaki a good kick in the pants. I hope he's finally come around. It's not much, but please, take this. I'm not sure I did anything worth this. Please, I have to thank you somehow. Bye, sorry for all the trouble. All right, so we got a sub story out of it. <laughs> cool. Didn't even know. All right. I think I think I have a I have a method. Let's let's put this method to the test. So like for example, I can probably do this. Uh, try that again. <laughs> Whoa, that went high. Holy, maybe not. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think that's reliable <laughs> off axis. <laughs> that's not good. I mean, on axis. Hmm. 
Team. <laughs> Level sixteen. one shot at it sometimes you might get lucky and have two shots at it let's do count up count up is the uh, quickest right now Hmm. 
I can't close up the game because I'm having intended aim issues whenever it seems to skew a lot from where I'm aiming. Cricket's gonna be unfortunate. Alright. That's unfortunate. Take a look first. There, oh, there's three. Oh no, there are three opponents in Ryukyu. Oh boy. No, I mean, let's see how. Let's see how okay we are. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, so... Hmm. Alright. Uh... Gotta go for an uh, 18. Hmm. 
go for 19. That is just freaking mean. Holy heck, that is mean. <laughs> what the heck, dude? is just gonna keep scoring on 19 until I close it that is so cheap that's unbelievably cheap You don't even get an opportunity to score because the AI knows how to how to shut it down right away. Like the AI can hit all the triples whenever they want. know why that went over there <laughs> I'm playing catch up just just straight up playing catch up the entire time that's not gonna work if I don't hit all the triples right away I guess uh, the best a course of action is to try to score points on the beginning and then play catch up the entire time. Just straight up close the entire time. I think going for bullseye is uh, gonna help here. I was hoping it does, but hmm. uh, he'll outscore me on 19 alone. Yeah, so BS. Just gonna lock it up, then triple trip 19s immediately. 
And then score a trip 19. There's some flexibility there. But now I have to do it. So let's see if I can uh, figure, correct ourselves here. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. That was weird. My pullback was... Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we're always playing response. Alright, so now we gotta figure out how to get uh, 18. that I didn't pull it that hard I did not pull it that hard, dude. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we just practice. Just, we can't miss at all. It's like a 99, it's like a 95% accuracy. <laughs> uh, I still have a chance though, I think. No, I don't. Trip 16s are what? 48, 48 times three is 154. Yeah, we can't catch up with just one attack. If yeah, we can get him to rely on bullseyes, uh, we can pass the dude. 
Yeah, so we have to force the computer to do bullseyes. In order to win. <laughs> and not choke. Which is very difficult. <laughs> We can't win here, but just it's more for practicing. There's no way we could have won in the first place. We have to not choke on our way to it. Yeah, the AI has near perfect, pretty much perfect aim. Just depending on uh, when, when they want to uh, triple up. So. We need to lock out all the scores beforehand. <laughs> it's basically like p playing a uh, uh, baseball and all the other ones. You have to get ninety five percent. Or higher accuracy. <laughs> Why is it pulling back so hard? What the heck, dude? It's almost like my uh, stick is drifting, but it's not. It's like pulling twice the amount of force. to hit uh, to uh, point it exactly at it okay I don't think this guy ever misses yeah oh all right that's that that's a miss Why is it like three times? Dude, I didn't pull it down that far. What the heck, dude? Hmm. 
<laughs> I don't think the guy ever misses, so kind of chalked at this point. We can beat him on trip sixes, but that that miss was a throwaway. We can only miss two darts on average. So near perfect game. light down here okay <laughs> all of them are off axis so when you're off axis you can pull it requires less so what this is you okay at the pole too. <laughs> and this at the pole too as well. <laughs> and this I pull just one because of the off axis correction. <laughs> okay. Have a chance. This is the chance. I can pull with two lights. I didn't think I can there. Oh, you can win by 250. We have to close this up. score score uh, some points here <laughs> okay well we locked we basically locked the person out <clears throat> hey you need to be so good at your aim <clears throat> but I did lock it in I did lock the memory memory and so some part of me wants to say I should just go to Ryukyu and do the dart thing before I forget the before I lose uh, the muscle memory 
We should do that now. It is so different. <clears throat> Left right correction affects your pullback. So when you're up and down and there's no left and right influence from your left analog stick on your aim, you pull back more than less. And then when you're off axis, uh, you pull back less relatively. And all that doesn't really make any sense at all unless you're actually pulling the sticks. Ooh. That's tough. Oh, wait. Sawada? Oh, from the tuna fun here. How have you been? The tuna farming couldn't be going better, and we're raising some real whoppers. These farm raised tunas are fattier and tastier than ever. Aww. That's great. It wasn't a scam. He's doing really well. I don't think of it. I did invest. So, how much it was it? Hatsumachi North. Downtown Riku, Okinawa, that's not far from here. Interesting. Oh, so I, maybe I should have invested a million. <laughs> a million's uh, rough to ask. I, I don't think I had many million to, to spare, but. Uh, we want to go to Atsumachi, anyways. So let's go over there and do the darts because. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to remember the darts thing. It's going to take me 30 or 30 or so minutes to get my hand calibrations again. So let's uh, save that 30 minutes. Let's bank the 30 minutes and go for it right now. Stay away from me, Reaper. A real RNG. Actually, the real RNG is going to start with billiards because we have to do the same for billiards. We actually have to beat all the opponents at the different levels, and that's going to be absurd. Because billiards sensitivity also has the same problem. Whoa. Why is this board so much brighter? It's like blinding me. What the heck? Was it really this bright on the- no, 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 it's because, yeah, the other place had brown, browns. Hold up. Okay. We got one. We got two extra darts. Nice. Extra darts.
Hmm. Uh, I double, double choked. Okay. Okay, 240 is the closest we can get. So we want to shut him down on bullseyes. Before it's too late. Oh wait, I don't even think he can win anymore. I don't think this guy can win anymore. Remembered our uh, muscle memory. Reproducible. Okay. Well played, buddy. Well played. <coughs> Alright. Now let's just do uh, let's do a pyramid. Right, a pyramid, go from top to bottom. Ooh. Okay, I think I can apply the principles to this. Holy, that was so aggressive. Holy heck, dude. I'll take that one. I'm pretty sure I missed that one. And that one, actually. Not slacking anymore. Hmm. Oh. and a one. Uh, okay. Guess we could try that. Nailed it. Okay. 
All right. And then last one, count up. Count up is the most reliable, so we kind of just saved the last, last one for that. Maybe not the most reliable, but good enough. You need to calm down. Oh my gosh. Nice. <laughs> 90 90%. We did just a little bit above that. 95%. Not bad. All right. Now now we wind down. So let's do cricket first. What? Oh, I was aiming at the wrong thing. Oops. <laughs> oh, dang. Locked out my only scoring potential or the scoring potential I was gonna rely on. Where's 15 at? Okay. I can hit all of them actually. Wow. Yo. He needs to calm down, my dude. Uh, 19 still available. I think I, I I think I understand how the aiming works now with the adjustment. Okay. <clears throat> I guess we just lock up bullseye. I wonder. Uh, okay. Okay. Hmm. 
<laughs> yep. I know. I know. I understand the game now. Completely. <laughs> Overkill. <laughs> I locked all the score out. Oh. Oh, if you lock all the score out, you just win. Oh, I forgot about that alternative win. You just lock all the entire board out and you just win. Huh. Uh, nice. Okay. Um. Uh. And the games are shorter. That's right. Except for cricket. I like this balance. <laughs> this balance is great. You have one game that gets short, uh, gets longer as it goes up, and you have one game that <laughs> gets uh, shorter uh, or stays the same. And then you get one game that uh, gets shorter because you have to do less. Like cricket, technically the length doesn't change, but it's less pressure. So it gets shorter on the scoring needs. And then this, you get higher as it goes. And then uh, count up just doesn't change at all. Although I do have to admit that from the difference between intermediate to advanced is uh, quite a big leap. I still have like a, I'd say anywhere between 90 to 95 percent ratio, uh, percent hit percentage, which is okay. Good enough to win. And our gamepad streak continues. Still not desperate enough. Not yet. Uh, we're doing count up now. This is three rounds no matter what. This is the fixed length one. The consistency king. Uh, ooh, okay. I was being loosey goosey there. <laughs> and on and on and over and over and over and over and over. And on and on and on and on. Just speeding it up. <laughs> over and over and over.
And over and over and over. I'm a little I'm being a little little loose here. I just wanted to close out the board. that out just in case Aggressive twenty hit. Close it out. Less starts to look at. <clears throat> okay. score that much, right? Hmm. 
Alright, we did it. Dark game accomplished. All that for the little red pip. Just the little red pip on there. There it is. UFO catcher is gonna be UFO and billiards. Uh, it's gonna be terror, absolute terror. I go to the bathroom. Uh, oh, he pulls out a cigarette. Dang. That's a good idol. Um, alright. Uh, go and look at these, uh, hmm. Alright, alright, so I, I guess we can pull up these sub stories. These ones here. <clears throat> Give my voice a little bit of a rest from doing the mini game stuff. All right, let's see what's happening over here. While we're here, oh, it's yep. She came back to Okinawa. Kaede came back to Okinawa. All did. Oh, uh, Kiryu-san, what a coincidence! Wait, Kaede? I thought you were living in Tokyo. Yeah, I love working at that shop too, but I finally realized my calling. What's that? I want to manage an inn in Okinawa. Okay, inn's pretty, pretty, uh, inn-like. It's kind of the closest facsimile of having like a bar area, like a bar, like hospitality is probably what I made, uh, the, her bar experience in Kamurocho probably got her to know that she's very good at hospitality as opposed to like a, a generic service worker or like a more bustling business service worker. It'll be a place where the tired fathers of Tokyo can come and take a load off. Nice, wholesome, because she, the old people in Kamurocho really appreciated her uh, personality. An inn? Where did that idea come from? The customers at Earth Angel said that Tokyo wasn't the right place for me. They told me, Kaede chan, you should go home and to Okinawa and start your own business. Wait, doesn't that mean they don't think you cut out for Tokyo? Huh? I don't know about that. 
When I told my customers about my idea, they got super excited and said they'll absolutely come visit me. I believe them when they say that. I'll make a place where the tired fathers of Tokyo can relax when they come to Okinawa. Man, that is such a great... Kaede's substory is so fantastic. It demonstrates how uh, passion can translate into hardship, which hardship is the thing that uh, humbles and seasons a passionate youth ambition. Uh, and that coming to terms with that creates new opportunities and new inspirations. And then it turns them into something they become, they fall in love with, or become, uh, find their truer, uh, the more experienced calling. So falling in love with your passion at first, realistically and most likely, I would say I'm willing to bet against a person that their first passion is the thing they truly love and perhaps maybe is the best at or good at. Typically experience over across the human's life, well, the most recent choices and passions have the heaviest sentimentalism and emotional um, investment. It was great. This was a great sub story to illustrate that in like a really, really small uh, snapshot. Is that right? Not a bad idea to follow your heart and make your dreams come true. Her dreams were not the dreams that she started with, and her heart is not where it was before, is kind of the idea. With more experience, and what with more different experience and more inspiration comes a more and more refined uh, solution or aspiration you know more better direction and when I talked to Momiji-chan about it she said that we could do it together oh that's cute you see my family used to run their own inn but a bunch of hotels opened up in the same area and they had to close down I know a lot of, about running an inn, so I should be able to help Kaede-chan with hers. I'm sure it'll all go well if we work together. An inn that serves the hard-working men of Tokyo. That's not a bad idea. Still, if we want to get up and running, we're going to need money. I wonder if we should take out a loan. Fear not! I have cash. That's true. I think you can get started without borrowing too much money, though. Huh? But how? Kaede, your friend's family used to run their own inn, right? Well, yeah. Oh no, we're not just gonna throw cash at them? This is the- this strikes that me- the- the inside me part where um, the if I were rich moments like this- this- these would be the situations like no 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 here you go Consider an investment in character and in people as opposed to an investment in a pitch. Um, whenever you see things like this, like they're not opportunistic. They're clearly blatantly not optim opportunistic. Giving money, if they fail in their dreams, it's still like an investment in a person as opposed to it, rarely, uh, it's less likely for individuals who are not uh, narrow-mindedly optim opportunistic to fail in their entrepreneurship but nevertheless these are those moments it's uh so pure if there are hotels all around that area that means it's a good location in that case you can just remodel the old place to fit your needs oh yeah I never thought of that huh you'd be okay with that Momiji it's totally fine. Plus, my parents can help us with it, too. Can help us with it, too. Alright. And the money I earn in Tokyo should be more than enough. Wait, sh you earned money? Impressive. Thank you, Kiryu-san. Man, you're so smart. I don't know about that. I couldn't tell you about it'll work out. 
that would be very similar to my response. A very grounded statement. I'm sure it will. I can't thank you enough. You've done so much for me. Thanks to you, I've discovered my calling. Youthful passion with a side of naivety, which is great because that drive will get will most likely drive that. Meanwhile, Kiryu represents the aged realism, but he has grown to a point where his emotional stability and motivations are somewhat dissociated with ups and downs, much like an older person. Over time, you can still remain motivated while being while coping or like synthesizing the knowledge of realistic information that you have over time. Sure, it might not work out, but also Kiryu is old and seasoned to the point where if it doesn't work out, it's not that big a deal as well. But then you have uh, Kaede, who's much younger, and her enthusiasm drove her to being successful at finding her calling, which then she feels down at the same time not being safeguarded so she clouds or ba basically compensates for the fallout by using by her enthusiasm it's great it's youth oh i know here take this it's something i bought in tokyo <clears throat> oh a caviar skin bag what the heck why would you buy that you've got to visit my inn once we open <clears throat> you can stay for free of course See ya. Wait, can we visit it in this game? We didn't, we couldn't roam around ever again. This is the only game that features Ryukyu. Uh, Yakuza 4, uh, showed Morning Glory a couple times. But we couldn't, like, walk into downtown Ryukyu. Uh. Why is that guy just chilling there? Oh, wait, I recognize you. You're the... Oh my gosh, this is the horn dog. Isn't it? Ueda? Is that his name? Oh, well, ain't this a wild surprise. What are you doing all the way out here? Oh, no, it's not. Not the horn dog. Not the Tony. The lone teenager is already done. Uh, because they... You get to ask... Well, at least I think it's done. I don't know. If you can, this is uh, the instant noodle guy. Ueda is the name of the instant noodle guy. He's come here to study the ways of Tonkotsu. Tonkotsu ramen. I should be asking you. Weren't you supposed to be in Kyushu? Well, sure. I was it. I was for a while. Walked all over Fukuoka, Kumamoto. Oh man, and I would love for uh, RGG to be able to do like a fictional facsimiles of those locations and Kagoshima uh, trying out different ramen joints then I heard that Okinawa's got some fine tasting pork the Oga or whatever they're called the Oga pork that debacle golden Oga pork or something but to make a long story short I ended up over here on a quest to find the best Okinawan soba we could direct him to that little stand in the public, in the near the public market entrance in the arcade, the shopping arcade. You wouldn't happen to have any clues for me now, would you? Actually, there's a pretty good Okinawan soba stand over in the, yeah, Kariyushi uh, arcade. Why don't you try that out? Yep, that's the stand, all right. As a matter of fact, I think I will. Thanks a lot, big guy. We know exactly where he's going. Came all the way to Okinawa just to research noodles. This guy is a bit of a noodle himself. <laughs> a bit of a noodle. Goober. Goober. Very, very goober much. Is that a gun I saw? Yo! 
Since when do you bring guns to Okinawa? What the heck? Wait, I wanted the gun though. Where did it go? Did I pick it up? No. Alright. This is what happens when you bring a gun to, to a fist fight, okay, folks? Don't worry, rubber bullets. That's that's all we can say. Rubber bullets. What is this? I heard about a guy doing hit hit and stops on Ryukyu Boulevard lately. What? Jumping in front of cars and forcing them to pay for his medical expenses? That's nothing new. No, no, the hit and stop guy is way worse than that. He drives around aggressively like he's gonna hit someone, then slams on a brake at the last moment. Oh. Brake checking. Then he. Oh, oh. No, that's even. What? That, the reverse? Then he claims you gave him whiplash or damaged his car or something and uses that to extort you. Really? And this weirdo just cruises through Ryukyu Boulevard? Look out for a black sedan near their intersection. This intersection. That's what the guy drives, apparently. Okay, got it. I'll keep an eye out for any black sedans. But we had an incident earlier, too. Guess you can make... There was another incident about uh, damaging the guy's car if you walk by him. Is it the same guy? Uh, isn't this Ryuk? Yeah, so... Uh, hmm... Black sedan, you say? Oh! Okay, black sedan. Don't mind me, I'm... Kiryu just magically becomes the <laughs> hidden stop dude. Uh, hmm. Black sedan. I don't see anything. Am I supposed to like wait here or? Hmm. Everything looks kind of black because it's nighttime. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, I'll set back to Kamarocho. We we have a bunch of sub stories. Where are we at on the sub story front, actually? Sixty-seven. Jeez. These definitely don't get. get these sub stories definitely do not get completed quick, man. <laughs> Holy heck. Usually they're linked together, but uh, they are definitely not. A, a lot of them are just completely non-linked. They're complete sub-stories in each entry. Crazy. The sub-story, it's so disproportionately heavier on the sub-stories in this game. And the MSQ itself, actually. Alright, uh, let's head over here. Don't mind him. Waiting to jump me if I ran in front. Huh. Is this Mr. Hidden? Uh, Mr. Hit guy? No? 
Oh, darn. How did I miss everything? Oh, this is the hitting uh, Mr. Uh, Hit Me If You Can guy or something. Which we just saw. We, we uh, crossed our paths momentarily on Akiyama? It's Akiyama and Kiryu. Or not. No, it's just Akiyama and Tanimo uh, Tanimura encounters him too. Oh, actually, I'm not sure if Akiyama does encounter. But this is where the callback is. He he talked. He complained about uh, to Animora that he uh, this guy ended up becoming a Majan player. But then Tanimora came around and uh, spanked his butt in uh, Majan and basically uh, removed his way of making money. But then he came back in here and he complained about a scary guy in a gray gray suit back in a year back. Constantly beating him. We're about to do that now. I used to box professionally. I should have been wiping the floor with you. <laughs> I don't care what kind of boxer you were. Maybe you got a nasty punch, but it ain't worth jack. Pennies. If you can't make it hit. You gotta think before you act if you want to land a bruise on this fresh face. You gotta be four to five steps ahead minimum. You're spouting some BS, man. This is a street fight, not some gosh darn chess game. Hey, I've got a record of 499 to 1, so somebody managed to do it. In fact, it happened right here in Kamurocho. This was EDU even before then. Because we done this before, too. And I guess he's back pra after practicing. Yeah, I bet you're just making it up in your head. Look. I could listen to you yep all day, but I'm running a business here. If you got time to cry, you should be out training instead. That scarf though, and the suit. Well, I'll be darn. So you're finally back in town. And you are. You gotta be crapping me. It's your boy, Mr. Oh, it's called Mr. Try and Hit Me. Don't tell me you forgot. Yeah, I think I remember a name like that. Uh. Well, if it helps jog your memory, I've been challenging people on the street to hit me for prize money. It ain't your average desk job, but hey, it's a living. I offer my services for 3,000 yen a minute. Within that, you're free to try and hit me as much as you can, with a reward of 50 grand if you're successful. Not bad, I know. Ever since you smacked me a good one, oh, some two odd years ago. This is Kiwami. Oh, no, no. It's Kiwami, too. It's been... um. Yakuza 3 has a uh, uh, three year gap. So you're at the tail end of uh, two plus years. And it goes on to the third year. Uh, Kiwami was. Kiwami 2 was three years ago. And then one year before that was Kiwami 1. I've been training all over Japan, vowing to never get hit again. I've got him against boxers, Muay Thai experts, you name it. And now you're finally back. What kept you so long? A lot of things, actually. Well, shoot. It feels like I've been waiting forever for this day. How about challenging a new and improve me? This can be tough, actually, because Kiryu is kind of gimped. <laughs> a lot more gimped than this one. All I have to do is hit him once and earn. All right. Let's try it. All right, I'll take you on. <laughs> That's what I'd like to hear. It'll cost you 3,000 yen up front. That's okay? Fine by me. Here, all right. Punch or kick me in a minute or less, and that 50,000 yen prize money is all yours. And weapons are off limit. Gotta keep it clean now, then. Uh, gotta keep it clean. Now, then. If you think you can keep the pace, then try and bust my face. He rhymes, you know? I don't actually know what I could do about it. Yeah, he's just gonna rapidly... Oh. <laughs> I, I just wanted to see if he would dodge a jab. <laughs> and clearly he didn't dodge a jab. Whoa. That was insane. Did you see those moves? I just walked up to him and jabbed him. Can't believe he actually got hit. Now there's a first. Oh, uh. 
Looks like I won. Crap in a hat. You're strong. Just like that back in the day. Maybe even more so. Guess I need to ramp up my training regimen, huh? Well, here's your prize money. 50 grand and cold hard cash. Come challenge me again anytime. But I gotta warn you. Next time, you won't be so lucky. Oh, is this a trainer? No, no. I don't think it's a trainer. Okay. I thought he would be like a, I don't know, a rush trainer or something. Uh Hey baby, you lost. Want me to give you directions? No, I'm I'm fine. <laughs> Aw, come on, sweetheart. I know. Why don't I take you somewhere real nice? Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, please stop. Someone help! This man won't let me alone. Oh, what do you want, Grandpa? Got something to say? I'm just trying to help her out, is all. Make sure to treat her with respect. <laughs> Will do, man. Let's get go Oh, I, I was going to go with the second option. Sweetheart. No, let go of me. All right, all right. Yeah, that that was the deny thing. Okay. Leave her alone before I make you. What? Darn it. My luck with ladies is crap today. Oh, wow. We didn't actually fight. Thank you very much. Don't worry about it. I really am lost. I have no idea where I'm I am right now. Where do you need to go? A bar named Shellac. I'm meeting with someone there. Well, since I'm here, I might as well help you get there. Oh, thank you. Are we manually going there or just going going there? Oh, okay. Here we are, Shellac. Thank you so much for doing this. Um, if you have time, I'd love to thank you with a drink. It's really no problem. No, I insist. I've got some time before the meetup, so let me buy you a drink, please. Or why not? <laughs> really? Thank you. Let's go inside then. All right. All right. Where is this going? <laughs> Thank you so much for your help. This is my first time here in Kamarocho, so I have no idea where everything is. I'm lucky you were there to show me where to go. You know, I don't think I've ever got your name. It's Kiryu. Nice to meet you, Kiryu-san. I'm Tomoko. Moko? Tomoko. I go to college not far from Kamurocho. A college girl, huh? Who are you? What sort of work do you do, Kiryu-san? I run an orphanage in Okinawa. <laughs> what? An orphanage? That's so sweet. Do I get to hang out with the kids all day? Keep them company? That's not really how it works. They need a parent to take care of them. Whether it's helping them with schoolwork or making them dinner. Oh, I see. Sorry, I'm not very smart. Go to college. What the? Hello? It's alright. Not many people know what kind of work goes into running an orphanage. Facts. Still, that's incredible, Kiryu-san. I have so much respect for... People who devoted themselves to volunteering. <laughs> you know, you might look scary, Kiryu-san, but you're a real sweetheart deep down. I'm pretty into I'm pretty into guys like that. So where's this guy you're waiting for? Is he still not here? I guess not. But I ha but I'm having a good time talking with you, Kiryu-san. It'll be okay. I'll be okay. Right. Ah. Tomoko! Oh, oh man. Oh. Lumiyoshi kun, there you are. What the heck are you doing here in Kamurocho? I told you not to come here. How dumb are you? What? Oh, what? But. But. Lumiyoshi kun, you never came home, so I thought. Like, that's any of your business, you stupid. person? Why are you always so mean to me? Didn't you read my text? I told you I didn't want to see you right now. You never replied, so I had to come all the way out out here to find your dumb butt. Do you ever look at your phone, or are you too stupid to use it? Huh? Wait, what text? Oh, I think I forgot my cell phone in my hotel room. I'm sorry, I didn't. I totally didn't notice. Wow, what a surprise, you freaking moron. Now you're wasting my time too. Oh dude, man, dude. Fumi Yoshi, we're gonna have to we're gonna have a talk outside right now. 
Is that any way to speak to her? Huh? Who the heck are you? I got lost on the way here, but he stopped to help and walked me here himself. Then you got all friendly and started drinking together? I see what's going on here. Why don't you hook up with this old fart then? <laughs> That's not what I meant. Wait, Fumiyoshi kun. I'm out. I don't want to see your face around here again. Wow. Abusive relationship alert. Fumiyoshi kun. Uh, that. That the guy you were waiting for? Yeah, he's my boyfriend. A year ago, he left our countryside town for Kamurocho, but never came back. When I text him, did I see you? He would always say, heck no. What? Finally, I decide to follow him out here and try to meet up with him, but it looks like he's really upset that I did. I don't know what to do. If you need my help, I'll do what I can. I I I Really? Oh, but I need to go get my cell phone. I ran away from home, so I'm staying at a hotel for the moment. You sure you won't get lost on the way to your hotel? Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> still worried about me, huh? Would you mind walking me back to my hotel then? Hotel district or just Sure, no problem. Thank you so much. Let's talk more about this at the hotel. Oh. Well. Wait, is she rich? Is this the right hotel? Yes, thank you. Oh, I'm going to buy a few drinks at the convenience store. Could you go up to my room and wait for me? It's the suite on the top floor. Oh, she's rich. Wait, wait. How am I supposed to get in without a key? My friend Ioi came. Wait, the same Ioi? No, no, no. That's probably not the same. It's just a coincidence. Ioi came out to Kamurocho with me, and she should be up in the room already. Just tell her you know me. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Remember, it's the suite on the top floor. Got it. Where's this going? Yeah, we're in the hotel district, alright. What? What is? So, what's your name? Cosmo, get you. Get you, son. You're so dreamy. Why'd you get into this kind of work, Kiryu san? Oh no. Misunderstanding. Abort! Wait. You know what I do for work? Kiryu, not like this! Yeah. Tomoko told me all about you. Oh no. I did tell Tomoko about it at the bar, but still, how? So, what led you to this line of work? <clears throat> Well, the man who raised me did the exact same thing. Monka? Hold up. I have to blow my nose. Well, this is going to get awkward fast. I wanted to follow in his footsteps. That's why I started down this path. To help those who didn't have anyone else in their lives. Hmm, I see. You know, I've been feeling pretty lonely lately. You're alone too, huh? Yeah. Huh? Well, if you need my help, I'll do what I can. <laughs> I hope you're, you'll help me a lot tonight. So, how long have you been in this line of work, Kiryu san? About two years. <laughs> and how many girls have you helped? I'm gonna say like four. I think there are four kids, including Haruka. Girls, specifically? There's Ayako and Riona, Eddie. Oh, I missed, uh, I forgot about uh, Ayako. 
It's Riona, Eri, and Izumi. And then we include Haruka. So that makes five. Five girls? Not too many then. Well, they're still just kids. So it's pretty tough making sure they get uh, they all get the attention they need. Wait. You take kids too? Of course. They're not just girls. Boys too. Oh my god. Did you... Please, get you. Abort! Wow, really? That must be quite rough on you. Anyway, this room looks pretty expensive, don't you think? Uh -huh. I, I figured, hey, it's a special occasion, so why not splurge? Right, well, I suppose this is your first time here. That makes sense. To be honest, I was kind of nervous about this at first. But I'm glad I worked up the courage to ask for her help. I never imagined someone as dreamy as you would come walking through the hotel room door, Kiryu-san. Speaking of Tomoko, your sure is taking a while. What do you mean? We're just getting started. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, come on, Kiryu-san. Yeah, hey, Kiryu-san.私も。我慢できない。ねえ。プロの技。早く教えて。彼氏は下手くそなの。おい。一体何の真似だ。え?だって。ちゃんとお金払ってるんだから、いいじゃない。もっと。私を楽しませてよ。ねえ。何金を払ってるだと。そうよ。玉子てこにも払ってあるわ。出張ホスト代は。出張ホスト。そうよ。だからキリュウさん、ここに来たんでしょ違う。俺はそんなんじゃない。ちょっと。どこ行
Is Tomoko the mastermind? Umiyoshi. You sure that was his name? I'm sure. He always hangs out at this bar named Shellac. Go ask him yourself. I'm gonna think of it. Tomoko's boyfriend was named Fumiyoshi. Those two have got to be up to something. I should head over to Shellac and get them to spill the beans. Hey, hold on. You're not going to leave me hanging here, are you? Give me back my money, you swindler. Some escort you are. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, they're in it together. Man, that was easy. Here I was, wondering if anyone would really stop to help some girl being harassed by a guy on the street, but we nabbed one pretty fast. <laughs> you moron. It was only easy because I made a great, crappy boyfriend. My performance was legendary. No, not, not particularly. Okay. Everything went according to plan. And not only are we getting money from that chick who ordered an escort, we're going to get more money by back blackmailing that guy. <laughs> you really do think of everything. Wow. They deserve each other. That's what happens when you get a good head on your shoulder. I bet that's... I bet that right about now. That shady guy is making bank off that old fart. The silly goose honestly believed that I ran away from home to see my boyfriend. They followed me all the way to that hotel. What a schmuck. <sighs> I mean, I kind of did too. But <laughs> it's obvious he was cruising for something else. Ha! Huh. Well, well, he shouldn't be. He should be having fun with a hottie right about now. He can't be too ticked off about that. <laughs> Bet he doesn't even expect to be scared shirtless. <laughs> you wanna keep your voice down next time? Oh crap! It's it's you! You spent all that time thinking up this plan, but didn't spend the extra second making sure it went right. What? What? It's not like we did anything bad to you. You're the one who put yourself in that crappy situation. Imagine placing yourself in a crappy situation because you're a nice guy. Is that all you have to say for taking advantage of those people? Then I'll stop trying to convince you and let me fist <laughs> let my let my fist do the talking instead. Ugh, well, whatever. I'll end this little encounter by helping myself to all your cash you've got on you. Take it outside. Yep. How's that? Ugh, who the heck is this guy? He can't be human. I, I'm so sorry. We won't scam anyone ever again. So please just let us go. If you want to apologize, then go back to that hotel room and give Ioe her money back. Yeah, yes, of course. But who pays the, for the hotel room? <laughs> all right, well, all right. Sure. Problem solved. Another scam thwarted. Wait. Hang on. You? Hey, handsome. You looking for something to do tonight? Or rather, someone? Oh. That muscular body. And those eyes. You could undress me with them all night. I just have a small little favor to ask. Hear me out now, and later we'll have ourselves a good time. What do you say? <laughs> Ignore her. Fine, what sort of favor do you have in mind? Okay, close your eyes now. Okay. What is this place? Come on, idiot. This is your town. This is your city. You know where you are. <gasps> Actually, whenever I've, whenever I've been at home, I've had that feeling that someone's looking in on me. It gives me the creeps. So I was hoping a tough guy, a tough looking guy like you could maybe look into it for me. So what's this about? 
Just thinking about it makes me my skin crawl. I can't even be comfortable in my own home. I live right over there. Do you think you can keep an eye out for that disgusting creep, whoever he is? Why do I have a feeling this is going to turn out to be like some sort of family member or something? We can have our good time afterwards, okay? You say so. I'll stick out the area then. I'll go back to my place and call you if anything happens. Can you give me your phone number? Sure, here you are. Thanks a lot. Okay. See some waiting nearby. I should have a, okay. Hmm. What the oh my goodness. Alright, it's not that. It's the outrageous type. What in the actual Hey, what are you doing up there? Oh, uh, just hanging out. Everything's fine. So, uh, would you mind not talking to me? <coughs> <coughs> you don't look fine to me. Maybe her husband? Hey, I know you got a man in here. You cheating person. No, stop. That window, it's... Dirty. I was still cleaning. Uh-huh. I mean, uh-oh. Not good. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <clears throat> Wait. So one guy... Oh, so he was leaving the place. He was trying to leave the place because the guy was on... Another guy was on to him. Her husband? Did something happen when I was gone? I thought I heard some kind of ruckus. It was... Nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, man, that's such a tough... <clears throat> Kitty, you... How's that? Not Nothing out of the ordinary. Hmm, all right, then. Keep up the good work, handsome. Well, all right, <clears throat> I guess we're looking for, uh, something suspicious. Maybe this person? I right, just tell that lady what's done is done. All I've seen on my watch is a bunch of nonsense. No, 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 let's do a little bit more. <clears throat> How about you? What? What do you want? Huh? You're the dragon of... Eh, so you're back now, huh? Oh, if this isn't involving the lady? Alright then, let me tell you what you need... What you need to do. Go over to the video store and say the following to the guys working there. Oh, is this the beam store? The beam weapon store? You got the mixed bathing hot spring special? I'm telling you. It'll be worth your while. But just have to trust me on this one. After all, I'm rooting for you big time. Weapon store, huh? Yeah, this is probably the beam store. Wait, how far out can I go? <clears throat> okay. Maybe not. Yeah, it's me. About that patrol you asked me to do? Yes. How goes it? Something's come up and I'm going to have to call it a night. Sorry to disappoint you. Oh, I wish you hadn't said that. Well, thanks anyway. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Wait, so there was more. Maybe I was supposed to... Hmm. Okay. What are you doing here? I'm getting addicted to this, uh... Hankatan... Uh, Hantakatan stuff. It's so good! I know, right? It's made with, like, perilla leaves, right? 
I love to mix it with cranberry juice. Perilla leaf. Why don't you stop by my club tonight? I'll pour a bottle for you on the house. Oh, count me in. I have that glass of Takatan ready for me, okay? Have that. On there, huh? I still remember this when I was over at the. Yep, yep. Okay, so that's just to share the cabaret club stuff. Okay. Fair enough. And I'm guessing the phrase for that stuff is for beam, which this must be the beam store here. Weapon shop. Does it look the same? Oh. It's not in the shop itself. They have what you're looking for here. They should let you Oh, it's in the van, huh? Yep. The weapon dealer. What actually do you have? We haven't used any of the weapons in these games. Uh, there's the broken M1985. <clears throat> hmm. Mm, just some basic stuff. Pretty bare bones these days. The early days. Uh, okay. Well, let's clobber some hitmen. Oh, X hitmen. Gotta complete the HLA things to break up the stuff to do. The hitman shoe should be somewhere. Okay. On second thought, it might be way too high for a sniper. Still, there might be a good. That street is hanging around here. He might. Oh, that's where the musician comes into play. Interesting. Uh. Oh, hey, kitty son. Hey, uh, I'm looking for a place where I can get a panoramic view of the city. Panoramic view. Calling a hot date. In any case, the roof of the Millennium Tower would be give you a real nice view. Of course. But if I'm remembering right, access to the roof is usually closed off. The Kazuma family office is on the top floor and they don't allow unorthodox people up there. Hmm. Well, sorry about... Interesting. Huh. So do I go to... I don't. Maybe I can ask Ibiki, Ibuki, like he said. Hmm. Ticket Kitty Sound, it wouldn't be right if we didn't at least cover expenses. We're tracking down another. Okay. Yeah, but. Can you, uh. Okay, never mind. So we just go up to Millennium Tower, go in it, and then see if we can uh, somehow solid snake up there. What? Wait. I should ask to let me up in a roof. But where is Ibuki Friendos? Are there Friendos here?
to what do I not <clears throat> I mean Ibuki's at the HLA oh <clears throat> do I call them that's not it no Maybe the guy at the counter? What the? Who's this guy? Oh, is he helping? Hey, do you have a minute? Sure, what is it? I've got a hunch that Hitman Shoe is up on the roof of the Millennium Tower. Huh? But it's impossible to hit anyone from way up there, isn't it? Isn't it? I've been thinking the same thing, but I still like to check it out just the same. Okay, understood. Whatever you're ready, just let me know. He's working here now. Yo, Kiryu-san. They put me to work here for now. Okay, so what do I do now? Um, for now, why don't you gather all these documents together? Sure, no problem. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, huh? You wanted me to gather them together, right? Oof. Now he's on the laptop. <laughs> That's kind of adorable, though. Alright, let's go to the roof. Oh, wow, you can gain access to it. Uh, this was accessible because the first scene with Majima is up here. And then, I don't know if we fight on here again, technically. What are you doing here? What do you want? Go away. I don't feel like talking to people right now. You must be Shu. How do you know my name? Who are you? I'm with the Honest Living Association. The HLA, huh? I want them to... I, I went to them for help once. I'm not looking for work right now, though. Could you leave me alone? I'm not sure... I'm not here to offer you work. I'm here to find a hitman who works for the Reapers. What? I don't have time to play games with you. Will you come with me to the HLA's headquarters? Do you really think it would be that easy? No, not actually. I'm prepared to use force if I have to. You'll regret it if you try. Oh no, do you have a gun? I hear a gun. Oh, it's a shotgun. It's not a sniper. That's weird. Whoa. Oh, those are some irregular shots. I can't, I can't jab and quick step out in time. Dude. Do you not stand still and do you always auto attack after a guard? Dude. Maybe I can toss you? Cause that's ridiculous. It just auto attacks you. Frame one active every single time. Dude. It's unbelievable. There's no way you can quick step that as a response. Yeah, there's there's absolutely no response. So you're just trading permanently. I mean, I guess I'll trade. You can't quick step him. Because he's just gonna just sit there and Yeah, he perfectly rotates even though he's like Proning to aim like that's so dumb holy heck dude even when even when he's like just proning
Wow, that's that's a new low right there. It's worse than the bowling alley people. Holy heck. And you can shoot around corners? And I can't block that. It's instant. It's it's one frame, one frame confirm. And I can't road. I can't quick step a. I can't quick step a. Uh, like 180 quick step a firearm. This is the quintessential uh, the blocking that people are talking about in this game. Go one, one, two. Oh wait, but I can with one? No, that doesn't work. Yeah, holy heck. That is... That is the block that is memed about this game. Alright, at least uh, hopefully we can finish. That's so crazy that he he rotates when he fires Man, that's so toxic Ready to come along you cheating butthead What were you doing here anyway? Who are you after? Nobody. I'm just here to relax and cheat Don't lie to me why would you come here if you weren't planning a hit? I'm not lying. I came here whenever I get the chance. Why on earth would you come to a place like this unless you had good reason to? I got- I get scared. I don't like being cooped up in places that- that don't have a view of my surroundings. Scared? Did something happen? I blew an important mission. Completely destroyed my hitman rep. I was trying to shoot between buildings. I was sure I could do it, but I botched it, and it was a shot I couldn't afford to miss. Ever since, I've had this strange, uneasy feeling whenever I'm in a place that doesn't have a wide open view. Hyper post traumatic stress, then? Yeah, something like that. Anyway, just think about it. This place has a clear view, sure, but do you really think I could hit a target from here? Probably not. Exactly. But there's no way I could be after anyone. I've been coming here a lot lately. Guess I'm not acting like a hitman these days. I see. Guess you're not really a bad guy. I don't know about that. That was some toxic gameplay. But you still have information we need. So you're going... So you're going with me to the HLA. Darn straight. Freaking... Auto-rotating armor firearm, dude. I'm a little scared now. Okay. I'm a little scared now for, like, the other targets. Okay. Kudenai. Kudenai, the silver bullet. Another gun. Of course, there'd be another gun. Breathe.
another gun guy. Armor, full block, full rotation. Instant shot to the back after a rush combo. I, I feel it. I feel it's gonna happen. I do need to eat out of place. Go to the ramen put. Oh, actually, the ramen guy might be back. Nope. You don't say much. Eh? Oh, and we couldn't grapple the guy either. Not like not reliably. I have to think of a different strategy for gun peeps. We can't disarm either because we couldn't establish enough uh, heat because that guy was blocking the entire time. I gotta remember to prioritize guard break. Uh, if Yakuza 4 and 5 has it. Just to speed things up. Well, 4 was pretty alright. They're pretty loosey goosey with their guards. Take that. Uh, where was I going? Oh, theater square. <coughs> oh, come on. Leper print guy, come on. <laughs> Small kettle. Really? Alright. Worried. Uh, uh, okay. Somehow that guy didn't see me. Whoa, this guy is stressed. Uh, what do you want? Yo, geezer? Didn't anybody ever teach you any manners? You're the Reaper couldn't I? Could I not, aren't you? Darn straight, could deny the silver bullet. But how the heck do you know about me? I'm with the Honest Living Association. I want you to come with me. So you're from HLA, are ya? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> eh, well, well, how convenient. It just so happens I got something interesting to show you. Follow me. Do you really think I'm gonna fall for this? Come on, man. I swear. It's really sweet. Just follow me. Hmm. Okay. Uh, of course, the children's park. This ought to be a good place. So where's this thing you wanted? You were talking about? Eh. Perfect. Eh. Perfect. Oh. Oh. Joy. What do you say? Fascinating, right? Are these guys reapers too? Nah, I'm the only one. These guys are just here to help me. <laughs> help me give you a good pummeling, that is. 
and what do you hope to accomplish by doing that? Don't you get it? We're taking you hostage. Then, we're gonna crush the HLA. I knew somebody would be coming to see me if I leaked some info about myself. You walked straight into my trap. Too bad for you, jerkhead. I see. It's definitely a very clever trap. Not really. Come on, kitty. Too bad it's not going to work. Ha ha ha. Get a load of this, Joker. I guess we'll see about that, huh? Alright, so I don't have any heat. It would be great if I had heat. And he has a gun. Oh, and two people have a gun. Oh, and he is. In he is blocking like crazy. But. No! That's not it! Stop picking up the wrong thing! Oh, of course. Of course he takes eternity, unlike the other ones. But hey, I have a disarm tech. Let's go. That doesn't actually disarm him because it's permanently glued to his hand. Alright, we're good. Okay. Let's do this. 8 billion year QTE. <laughs> Not so clever anymore, huh? What the heck? I'm sorry I had to do that. Now start talking about the Reapers. I want details. I don't know anything. I sure as heck don't know any of these details you're looking for. I don't buy it. You better start talking. I'm at the very bottom of the heap. I don't even know who the boss is, I swear. Look, I got kicked out of my family for missing a mark. And then some guy I met asked me to join. So I did. That's it. This guy you met wasn't the boss? No. Someone else is in charge. I don't even know the name of the guy who recruited me. He's been talking of a storm, but he's not even giving me any real information. Guess that means he's probably just an underling, just like he says. I better turn him over to Ibuki. Alright, we're going. Get out of here. I just want my payday. He wasn't so bad. The other guy was bad. The, the guy on the roof. Holy heck. On the rough. Alright, we're going to catch the people in leadership position. Alright, alright, sure. <clears throat> I'm here for the money. You know. You know. Business. Business, too. Did the list just get longer? What the heck? Zen the Black Hyena. Hold up with... Hold up with hostages. Has several henchmen. Great. Great. Amazing. Does have separate activities to do from time to time. Not bad, not bad. Hmm. My dude just dodged into me. Come on, man. I don't have time for this. Oh, wait. I can build heat, though. Just kidding. Get up, dude. Eh, that's not a lot of heat. That's unfortunate. Okay.
Not a lot of heat. Can I eat? Ooh. I guess I can eat. Okay, give me this heat. Oh, you know what I haven't been using? I, I guess I could have thrown that boss and then like picked up the boss by the legs, maybe? What? I didn't want to pick you up. I wanted to pick the freaking freaking bike up, dude. I actually can't guard that low hit. Dude, stop reading my inputs. He attacks only after I let, let go of guard. <clears throat> over and over again. It was perfect. They are perfectly timed. It was so crazy. Alright. Mate. Get hurt. Make, app make appetite, right? Everything in Conrad just fills you up completely. <clears throat> Makes it hard. Makes it hard to, uh, the whole menu. I still don't think we need to do that, though. Alright, alright. Yes, henchmen. We have heat. This guy named Zen here? Is there a guy named Zen here? Huh? What do you want? I with the Honest Living Association. Now, release those hostages. No way. What is the HLA doing here? If you thought taking hostage would stop us from coming after you, then you're dumber than I thought. Or freeing those hostages, even if it means beating some sense into you first. Hey, go report this to Zen. Got it. Oh, wait. Four people. Come on, let's see four people. Who do you think you are? Some kind of superhero or something? You must be getting seen now in your old age. <clears throat> After a good butt whipping, you can join your friends as another hostage. Just the two of you? Oh, but I... Mm. Alright, just two, huh? Whoa! 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 <laughs> I've got to try that on that guy on the Millennium Tower roof. I'm not wasting any more time on you. Step aside, alright? Okay. That same room is the same exact room <laughs> for everything. The posters in the same place. Zen son, that's the guy. You Zen then? And over the hostages. I've never expected anybody to come barging in here. Well, whatever. Now that you're here, I guess there's no point in keeping these hostages here. What do you mean? Hey guys, don't keep this guy company while I deal with these hostages. Tell them just how hospitable we are. If only you listened to me, you could have walked away intact. Gonna take more than just to keep me back. What was that? I said, you must be crazy if you think these weaklings have what it takes to take me on. I'll clear them out before it, you so much as touch those hostages. Hey, butthead, who are you calling weak, huh? Alright, so we have... We have, uh... We have... Beats for this.
the classic. We relied on this so much in uh, Yakuza 4 when it was uh, Kiryu's. Um. I was trying to make sure uh, our hostage didn't die because it looked like our hostage was uh, a valid target or at least it kind of looked like it yeah because it had the hostage has a life bar the beginning of uh, the escort missions from the previous games for the games before this in chronological order. Technically future games. Especially Makoto. The Makoto escort missions in Yakuza 0. Oof. Dang, what kind of monster are you? Game's over. Give it up. Ugh. Take your hostage and get the heck out of here. Did you forget? You're coming with me too. Son of a... Why does it always freaking end up like this for me? Does that mean you're being pulled? You've been pulling these kind of dirty tricks since your days in the Yakuza? If that's the case, I'm not surprised they kicked you out. Shut up. I don't need no sermon from you. Can't blame them for not wanting to put up with antics like these. I wouldn't want to have anything to do with you either. Feels bad, man. You can go cool off at the HLA. Oh, some of these you're just, just not getting a like a sob story or something. They just straight up get detention. All right, money in the bag. Nope, go not closer. All right, all right. Who's next? Let's go. Ibiki son, we. Ibuki san, we we got trouble. Oh, what's what's going on? There's a man making a big scene in front of the restaurant. He keeps yelling for the HLA to come out. The guy's really on edge. Somebody who knows where HLA headquarters is and who's making a big racket, eh? Sounds like one of the Reaper hit men. Let's go check it out. Interesting. Subplot? That's the hitman. Send and Tetsu. And Tetsu. Uh, I've heard he's a hot-blooded guy. I'm gonna go check him out. Don't come until it's over. Ibuki of the HLA, get your butt out here. What do you want with the HLA? Uh -huh. Are you Ibuki? No, but if you got business with the HLA, you can hash it out with me. This has nothing to do with you. Get Ibuki the F out here. What do you want with Ibuki? I heard he hired some tough guy who's been after our men. The cowardly little person watching from a distance like that. Figured I came beat his butt. I see. What if I told you I was the guy he hired? Oh, really now? Yeah, really. <laughs> that makes it easier then. I'll just kill you instead. As soon as I hand Ibuki your cold, lifeless body, he'll know not to meddle in our affairs ever again. Are you hand to hand? Nope, you have a gun, of course. Okay, now see, at least he doesn't auto rotate, but he does have full armor, which is kind of annoying. Oh, and it does knock me down. Oh, I can't actually, uh... I can't actually, like, train my... Okay. <laughs> At least he doesn't auto-rotate when he's firing. 
or getting ready to fire. You're strong. Sorry, but I won't be cold or lifeless anytime soon. Son of a person. You're right. I've been watching from a distance. You're a Buki? But I'm doing my best to fight you guys in my own way. And I believe that someday you'll come to understand us better. But for now, I hope you give me a few minutes of your time and listen to what I have to say. Oh, son of a... Thank you, you. I'll take it from here. Alright. Do I get money? More money? Thank you for helping us with a sudden visitor. I guess it turned out for the best that he came to find us, seeing as we didn't have any info on his whereabouts yet. Here's your reward. We appreciate- Oh, okay. Nice. Please come back again. We're really counting on you. Alright, alright. Give me the next hit. I do kind of enjoy these. It's They're kind of like street bosses. So, oh no. Things are ramping up. Okay. Mm. Okoyami. The mass assassin. Uses unique weapons. Interesting. No picture either. Wait. Did that just say unknown? Or unknown location? I didn't, I didn't look at the location. Oh no. Okay. It's fine. Pass this way. Uh, technically, uh, this is probably a little faster. What's my health like? Not too bad. Overall, I don't think uh, it's. Uh, you don't do much to, like the damage ratio in this game in general for both goes both ways, being low. So that's not too bad. Like, Kitty is really sturdy as well. Like, everyone just... In general, it feels like uh, everyone hits, like, wheat no uh, wet noodles. Most, both Kiryu and the bad guys. So it's kind of mutual. Makes it... Makes it okay, but it also makes it less interesting because there is not much you can do. Variety is uh, a little bit... Variety is a little bit restricted in the early days. Oh, I could get some heat going into that other. Wait, how did this thing get over here? Whoa! I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to pick this up. I wanted to grab his leg, but he didn't let me. Hey. Man, we're just raking in the cash. Still need 15 million more somewhere. Probably gonna be gambling. Eh, the Reaper, Tokoyama. Okoyami would be lurking in a place where there weren't any people around. This is the most deserted place in Kamurocho, but I don't see anybody wearing a mask. Don't move. If you ever come looking for me again, I'll kill you. If you know what's good for you, you'll stop poking around in other people's business. Huh. Got the drop. Hey, uh, did you see a suspicious looking man in a mask? I told you to mind your own business. Wait, you were the one who threatened me just now? Ignore my warning, will you? Then it's time for you to pay the price. Wait, he's not wearing a mask. What the heck? Is that a knife? Oh, he has a guard break. Oh, 
Okay. That was kind of annoying, actually. His uh, his hits were active for a really, really short duration, and they're really, really short. It was a bit rough to get the tiger drops, and then he had armor on the tiger drops. But I also had a I also had a skill that allowed me to guard uh, knife attacks as long as I had red red heat. So that came in handy. Unlike Tani Mora. When when he takes a knife. But you usually wear a mask? I used to wear one when I was with the Yakuza, but I don't anymore. Why not? I thought you want to hide your identity. A masked imposter showed up pretending to be me. He ruined my reputation and got me kicked out of my family. Besides, wearing a mask around Kamurocho just makes you stick out like a sore thumb. I'll give you that. These days, the best way to hide your identity is to wear a suit. Fair point. In this city, a suit is a mask of its own. Got a point there. Are you with the HLA? Yeah, I am. I'll go with you, but I'm not talking. I know you're probably not the kind of guy to talk, but you've got the wrong idea about the HLA. What? The HLA is an organization that helps ex Yakuza. You're not your we're not your enemy. They're not your enemy. They aren't gonna force you to confess anything. Once you meet them, you just might form a different opinion of them. Yep. Rehabilitating ex Yakuza one at a time. And getting paid. We thought we were looking for a match, but I guess we were completely wrong. You don't say. Alright. Next. Next request. Let's go. Tommy Jima, the gun master. Of course there'd be a gun. Has large arsenal of firearms and numerous henchmen. Ugh. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. You close by? Not particularly. Oh, we can eat at... I don't know, this place is different. It's probably still beef bowl, right? Oh. Rice bowl stuff? Yeah. Uh... Ginger pork meal? Sounds delightful. Hit me up. Oh, that's not enough. Give me another one. What do you got? Pork yakiniku? Okay. Cool. Alright. Now we're going. You, you peeps need to stop dodging into Kiryu and dodge away from Kiryu. Alright, let's see what this guy's got. Is this Samejima's, uh, Samejima's office? Huh? Who are you? I'm here to see Samijima. If you don't want to get hurt, you better step aside. If you got a message, I can pass it on to him. Otherwise, get the heck out of here. I need to see him face to face. Get out of my way. Not too bright, are you? Maybe I better knock a little sense into you. This is no place for the likes of you. Maybe they'll... St ah, nah, nah, nah. Pleasant trees. Oh. 
Oh. Well, that sucks. Yep. Can't see him off screen. Yeah, I don't think so. Holy, you're strong. I'm going. Yeah, I'm just going in. Fine. Who the heck are you barging in here like this? Are you say Tommy Jima? What if I am? Huh? I'm with the Honest Living Association. Did you come with me? The HLA. Hey boys. Looks like we got ourselves an uninvited guest here. Oh boy. Wait, do I have heat? Oh, I see a gun. Great. I see multiple guns. We could it uh, we can't do the thing because uh, not close enough. Wait. This is so awkward. I'm trying to look for the gun, but the furniture is in the way. Oh. Oh, he's not actually battling. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. He's standing in the corner. What? What are you? Some kind of freak? Doesn't matter how many small fries you throw at me. Give up already and come with me. Son of a dingus. Hey, okay. <clears throat> hey, Samijima-san, I'm back. What the heck? What's going on here? You're just in time. Mow this butthead down. Huh? I still don't know what's going on, but whatever you say, boss. Nice to meet- oh my gosh. More guns. Wait, do I have, a uh, heat? I don't- Oh my gosh, it's so obstructed. Okay. Now do you have? Hey, you guys are useless. I didn't know if you. Really starting to tick me off now. I'll kill you myself. All right. What do you have? Oh, okay. I like how I like how he just got shoved in the corner. Wow, he fires a really long time. I love he just I love how he just got got shoved into the corner because of sliding. He always backs up into the corner. That is so annoying. I can't believe how annoying that is. Holy heck. Wow. That is so toxic. I guess we just brute force him down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're just gonna head press a lot, a lot shorter. 
just slides right into the corner. Good thing he does negative damage. What are you, invincible or something? Christ, yes. The answer is yes. Invincible. You depend too much on your guns. Your close combat skills suffer for it. I mean, he had no combat, close combat skills. Ugh. So many guns. You buy weapons for the Reapers? Heh. <laughs> That's right. And I'm not a hitman, just so you know. You're not. Yeah, I... Yeah, I am. I'm... I met the... Okay, I met the Reaper boss a while back. Procuring weapons is my specialty. Sounded like a sweet deal, so I signed up. Who is in charge of the Reapers? Can't tell you that now, can I? I'm very careful about guarding my client's privacy. Like, that's all I'm gonna get? Yep. I'm just haul him off. Just haul him out. Get my check. Let them re resolve it themselves. Isn't a hitman, but his weapon supply. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Next target. Let's go. Lorenz. Lorenz. The uh, Corsican Panther? What a name. Plated weapons. Okay. Plated weapons, I'm okay with. Uh, unless it's really, really long. <laughs> if it's a really long blade of weapon, not not as much of a fan. Malberger time. We can go to Pronto and see if what Pronto has on the menu. Uh. Uh, oh yeah, we can uh, drink something with our meal here. Amon Iberico? I don't know if that's the right... Uh, whatever. It's fine. We're good. It's all good. Just gotta buy the, at least buy the most expensive item. That's something we must do. We haven't saved in a while. Better save as well. We can get some heat off these guys. That stayed active. There we go. That checkered pattern on the guy's clothing, though. Okay. Alright. Oh. Nippon is awesome, man. Look at that building. I wonder how many stories it is. Ich, ni, san. Hey, uh, what are you trying to accomplish here? I'm looking at one of Kamarocho's famous landmarks, the million in the Millennial Tower Millennium Tower. Ah, can I help you with something? You're the Reaper Lorenz, aren't you? I sure am. And you're Kazuma Kiryu san. Wait, how do you know my name? I came here to learn about the Tojo clan. You're their fourth boss, right? You're just the guy I'm looking for. 
I was hoping I could talk to somebody in the know. What about? I'm looking for information on the Tojo clan. Only somebody like you would know about if you know what I mean. I'm not in the business anymore. If you want inside information, ask somebody else. Not that that's not going to cut it. Chances like this don't come along every day, you know? If you don't want to talk, I'll just have to make you. Oh, okay. Cut to the chase. Very, very quick. That is a katana. All right. Wow, that did not do much. I love how I got punished for uh, being unable to target him. And he just doesn't attack. Oh, but he has a guard crush. Oh, he does break out. Okay, so that other boss would have done the same thing, probably. They just don't attack very often. Holy heck. That infrequency of attack makes it all the trouble with one one frame actives. Frame one actives. Oh, I should have just head pressed. But it's okay. Here we go. Or King from Tekken. This is what King from Tekken does, you know? This is how long King's uh, grappling combos are. Probably longer than this, actually. Yeah, you're not half bad. No wonder the Tojo clan made you one of their bosses. I'm not with the Tojo clan anymore, so they can stop calling me one of their bosses. Still. I'm surprised to see you wielding a katana. When it comes to slicing and dicing, you can't do any better than a Japanese katana. I thought I'd see a lot of them when I came to Japan, but there don't seem to be many around. It's 2010, Mike. They're not all that easy to get a hold of. I guess not. Well, it looks like I blew my chance to learn about the Tojo Clan. Did you join the Reapers just so you can learn about the Tojo Clan? That's right. I heard they were fighting the Tojo Clan. Thought I could learn some cool stuff and they said Kamurocho is the best place to get information so that's why I came here what were you going to do with the information I wasn't trying to start any trouble I was just interested in the world of the Japanese underground I see well come with me to the HLA for now maybe you can learn a few things about the Tojo clan there if you're interested in the clan it's just mere curiosity and that's the place for you Hey, that sounds great. I owe you one. Alright. His suit is kind of nice. His hats doesn't really go well. But, you know. It's okay. It's an okay outfit. Make the number... Uh, just to make him happy. Alright. Just give me my money. Give me my money. Alright. It's the tiger. It's the tiger list. Oh, okay, the tiger list isn't growing. Yuto, the Reaper's rising star, huh? Uh, of course, of course, the guy is armed with guns. I feel like that's the end game. Everyone's just permanently armed with guns. 
Uh, I guess we go this way. Well, went the wrong way, but. Maybe we can clear the hitman, hitmen stuff today. Where are we at with our time, actually? Oops. How do I even know? Oh. Alright, never mind. Can't even find a normal, like, time. Time is not even on here <laughs> in the front menu. We're totally falling behind. Uh, Alright, here we go. So oh, that's a hitman, Yuto. Wait, those punks are giving him a hard time? You little snot. Drop the freaking innocent act bit. Just cough out the money already. <sighs> Dang it. Hi? You little s snot. What the heck's that all about, huh? Do you guys have a death wish or something? Huh? What? I'd like to see you try. Uh -huh. Okay, that's enough. Who the F are you? Get out of here. You better give it a rest unless you really do have a death wish. Huh? What'd you say, Pops? Oh, are we really gonna fight him first? If it's a fight you're looking for, then, uh... Yeah. We have to take care of the innocent by bashing their face in first. And getting some heat from them. In the meantime. Oops. Okay. Don't expect me to thank you. I didn't ask for your help. I'm out of here. Are you the Reaper, Yuto? Now I see how it is. You thought I might kill them because you knew who I was. That's why you intervened. That's right. Oh, well, don't worry. I don't kill people unless I'm getting paid for it. Unfortunately for you, though... I can get paid for shutting up people who figured out who I am. Nothing personal, but I'm going to have to kill you. What kind of gun are you going to pull out? Just a normal pistol? Okay. Oh my gosh, you have rush. Rush quick stepping. Oh, that's going to be so annoying. Eh, I guess not too bad. Can you, uh... Can you not? Quick step.
<laughs> Not half bad. I never would have guessed an old geezer like you could beat me. You look pretty young. How'd you get into this business? Age doesn't matter in my line of work. The boss chained me himself. Some kind of special program for the gifted, if you will. Did he now? He's the head of the Reapers? That's right. The gun I'm using was a coming of age present from him. Who is this guy exactly? You know I can't tell you that. If the boss find out I ratted him out, I'd be dead. I just wish I could have lived up to his expectations, that's all. Okay. Uh-huh. I mean, the next hit. Maybe that's the boss. And then we are uh, A okay. A okay, o a okay. Right? Are we. Is this the last. Is the boss this guy? Yeah, he... oh no, he's just an officer. Go, Ren. Has assembled a large number of men in Senryu. Okay. Large number of men. Joy. The joys of living Kiryu's life. Um, perhaps it might be okay. to break out a few more healing items for this one just a wee bit oh hey is this the murder mystery thing oh we're, we're gonna do that later i need this toast set okay. all right uh save point on our way to Senrio Avenue. That guy just turned around, walked right into me. Alright. Nope. I haven't gotten any like ac accessories that are nice. Yeah, we're just gonna bring the good stuff. It's reasonable. If we have to emergency something, probably one of those. <clears throat> Is there a guy by the name of Goren here? Who are you? I'm with the Honest Living Association. I'm here to see Goren. The HLA. You butthead. If you had just waited, we would have come to you. Oh, interesting. Look, I don't have time for flunkies like you. Bring Goren out right now. Huh? Hey, who are you calling flunkies, pops? Enjoy your ignorance. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. We just insult each other. More and more insulting. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Pistol. Whoa! Whoa! Worse. Okay. What the heck just happened? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just going in. Let's go. Hi. Crowded place. Who the heck are you? What's happened to the guards? They're taking a rest out, out front. I'm... Uh, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, he left to attack the HLA. Oh, interesting. I see. No reason for me here, then. Whoa, just a minute, pal. Not so fast. All right, all right. Wait. Wow, that's a lot of you. Holy heck. 
There's a guy in the corner with a... Ah, uh, you guys are extra squishy. Holy heck. Uh, is it just you? Man, you guys are extra squishy. Funkies indeed. As long as you've been- as long as you're being so hospitable, why don't you just tell me where Goren is? Got his men together up on the roof of Millennium Tower again. Millennium Tower roof? That's just above the Cosmo family- Oh, there's no way they could have pulled that off. Best place to hide is right under somebody's nose. Several Reapers are former members of the Cosmo family. We could get their keys, no problem. Sunday, okay. Alright. Off to the Millennium Tower. Whoosh! Okay, here we are. Holy! A lot of henchmen. Weren't kidding about a lot of henchmen. Are you Goren? Yeah, that's me. Who are you? I'm with the Honest Living Association. I'm here to talk to you. So you're the guy who's been rounding up my buddies for the HLA, huh? I'm impressed. I gotta admit that you've been getting a little carried away. What do you mean? My boss isn't too happy about all this. He ordered me to destroy the HLA by any means necessary. There's one above him, huh? On top of that, he told me to find the jerk who's been capturing our men and tear them limb from limb. Looks like that person is you. Great. Sweet. I think I'll just carry my second set of orders first. Get you crossed off my to-do list. And there are 50 other guys here who all second that motion. Think you stand a chance against us? I mean... Yes. Probably. Oh, dang it. I was trying to do the- wow, they're really squishy. Holy heck. We weren't kidding. I mean, this is like fodder. I saw weapons on the ground. I was looking for a gun. Are there any extra guns, guys? I'm trying to do the like the one heat action. Oh, here it is. Oh, they're all like big guys actually. Someone can throw a knife. 
I don't know who threw the knife though. Oh, Goren's joining us. He has a axe. That's a mighty big axe you have there. Oh, he has armor. Let's get rid of all the other guys there is. Oh, camera. As a follow up with armor, okay. Wow, that's really early. Holy heck. Missing these uh, tiger drops. Can't hit him with the tiger drop, he keeps avoiding it. <laughs> Alright. Big swings, good time for tiger drops. How the heck did that just happen? Amazing how you rounded up so many thugs only to have them scatter like rats. Ouch, that hurts. I've been abandoned before the last time. I was one of the thugs in the crowd and my family abandoned us all. What do you mean? I relentlessly trained myself until I was sure of my strength. I focused solely on honing myself and my skill for the sake of my family. As I became stronger, they started giving me work that was even more important. It gave me purpose. One day, we got into a big showdown with a rival family. I thought my role was going to be assassinating their key players, since I've been given those kinds of important roles before. But it turns out, I was just another disposable pawn to them. Feels bad, man. I was treated just like all the other guys in the crowd. Like the ones who only caused trouble and partied all the time. I couldn't take it. I gave everything to my family, but I lost all hope. 
What was all that effort for? It really got to me. I understand what you're getting at. Sadly, that sort of thing happens all the time. Not just organized crime, to be fair. Uh, when it's an all-out conflict, everybody, even the boss, has this life on the line. You can't split hairs over those situations. Still, you feel like you wasted all that hard work, is that right? Well, you managed to survive the fight, didn't you? Isn't that what matters most? Even though you're not in the family anymore, you can still rely on that strength you worked so hard to build up. Facts. A man who was truly strong wouldn't obsess over some half-baked revenge. Facts. What is real strength to you? Think about it. You might have a point. I always trained my body, but I may have neglected my heart and mind. Maybe the HLA can help. Me take a good hard look at myself again. Sounds good. Just make a call. All right. Is it the time for the main event? Great work. I'm glad you're okay. We believe has great deal. Okay. All right. Of course. There are no... What? 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 Are you telling me that I probably have to go to Okinawa again to, to get... I just see something shine. Um... <clears throat> Alright. Let's go... We got, we got a few, we got a little break. Let's go sub storing again. Man, breaking 100 sub stories would be fantastic. We're at 70. The hard stuff's coming up though. The mini games are going to be tough. I got to reacclimate. We already finished bowling, so we don't even have to do bowling anymore. But the batting cages, we still have to do. And then the billiards. The gambling, not so much. Gambling is going to be uh, pretty easy because of um, gambling items. Actually, we did Haruka's trust sequence without them. Could have saved a bit of uh, saltiness. Some of the salt. I'm pretty sure I don't have to be max level in this game either. We don't have to grind my like, XP or anything. Just gotta get all the sub stories and all the mini games, and that was that's pretty much it. Oh, Colosseum. We still have Colosseum stuff too. Guys, uh, just let me leave me in peace. Oh, well, upsie daisy, upsie daisy. Different things work for different games. Gotta love it. They really, they really do be milking the combat system across the titles, which is great. As long as it's not the same approach, I find it fresh. Uh, okay. Let's see what's over here. Oh, come on, buddy. Guardrail. Guardrail.
Oopsie daisy. Oh. <laughs> he recovered before I could grab his, grab his leg. It's not every day you get next to a guardrail, you know? <laughs> Gotta use it while it's there. What the heck? Please stop. You have to get down from there. No man can tie me down. You got that? Not nobody. Not no how. Look, if you don't fasten your seatbelt, the police are going to blame me. Oh, you want to tie me down, huh? It's, uh, it's that it. Well, too bad. You can't. See, I'm never taking off my tie. Here, here. You said it, bro. You got my vote. <laughs> Oh, drunkards. Wah ha ha ha. Now it's a- Now this is a taxi ride. Feels bad, man. Hey. Give it- Give it up already. I need a taxi. <clears throat> What's going oh. on? Oh, oh. These people wouldn't settle down and put their seatbelts on. Isn't that a law here? Yo. Even back- Back seat passengers need to wear seatbelts these oh. days. Seatbelts are for the tip of the iceberg. Nothing can tie me down. Nothing. I'll never make any money. I'll never make any money like this. Can you do something about them, please? Knuckle sandwiches? Is that what you're telling me? Knuckle sandwiches. I can knock them sober. Kitty, you been knocking guys sober since the age of uh, the ripe old age of 18. Or is, was it 19? Hey, uh, you keep this up and you'll have to deal with me. <clears throat> the heck you say? Well, we got another guy trying to tie me down? Screw that. Oh, are you just gonna fight? I'd rather be the tire than the tie -y. I don't know where this is going. It's fine. They're drunkards. Oh, hey, a different music. What the heck music? Wow, so they had a separate uh, track for drunkards. That's kind of funny. Love it. I kind of want to listen to the whole track. The battle ended. <clears throat> Ew. Uh, uh, what the heck am I doing here? Oh, well, well, I'm, I'm all sobered up again. They can't find a place to get my drink on before the last train. <laughs> Me? I better call the wife. You know, you ought to settle down with someone. Getting tied down isn't so bad, you know? Slap the sober into them. That's how Kiryu does it. Slap the sober. Hey, thanks so much. You saved my business for the night, at least. Alright. Here's something for your trouble. Oh. Alright. Cool. <clears throat> cool. I had a unique uh, music track just to spice things up. Ah, uh, date pride. So mama's husband was murdered. I better tell. Oh, how do I? Oh, date's pride. Date's pride. <laughs> I keep saying date. Freak. Date's pride. Uh. Uh, okay, so he wasn't at Bon Tom, so public park number three, maybe, or the, <clears throat> maybe the backside of Serena or something like that. Couldn't have been too far away. No, thanks. Stop it. Oh. Stop it. Leave me alone. Okay. Let's check the back of that enough for Nope. Alright. Let's mosey on over to public park number three. Classic place.
There he is. Oh, oh, kitty you. How'd it go with mama? Well, kind of a tough situation. Her last husband was a cop. She said he died in the line of duty trying to save her when she got held hostage. She also said that being with somebody who came out of the forest reminds her of that awful day. So she'll still got him on her mind. Huh? Wait, you knew she was married? Yeah, her husband. Uh, Keisuke. Keisuke was a cop under my jurisdiction. Ooh. We crossed paths during a particular dangerous case. We're going after a serial armed robber by the name of Tsukishima. Guy was a real scumbag. Oh, oh, he's familiar with the case too. After we tracked him down, Keisuke managed to corner uh, Tsukishima. But then Mama walked by and that thug took her hostage. Held his gun right to her temple. We got the okay to shoot Tsukishima, but Keisuke was too afraid. He hit his wife, so he hesitated. And it cost him his life? Yep. Tsukishima took that opportunity to shoot first, and that was it. Keisuke went down. It was over in the blink of an eye. Keisuke... Keisuke uh, did everything he could to protect Mama without pulling the trigger. Maybe that was all he could do, given the circumstances. If Keisuke had a shot, there was no guarantee he wouldn't hit his wife. And even if he could hit Tsukishima, he had to end it in one bullet. Otherwise, Mama would pay the price. <clears throat> That's a decision no one should have to make. I never could see KHK taking another man's life. He's always saw the best and even the worst of people. But his kindness ended up doing him in. What happened to Tsukishima? The moment he shot KHK, the squad moved in to take him down. Long story short... Tsukushima got sent to the pen, and Mama, she survived, but she lost her other half. I've always felt responsible since the killer was under my jurisdiction, so I've been looking after Mama ever since. I think I understand. Closing the door on you was her way of closing the door to those painful memories of losing someone she loved. Maybe that can be fixed. Date-san, does she know you were in charge of the case? Uh. No. I like to keep it that way. She thinks Keisuke just happened to be at the scene. I see. Anyway, only thing I could do for Mama was to set her up as Serena and show my face there every day. That was something like nine years ago. At first, I looked after her out of a sense of duty to a fallen comrade, but sooner or later, I fell for her. Sounds like you two have quite the history already. Mm -hmm. Huh? Wait a sec. What's wrong? <clears throat> that guy. I knew I seen him before. Oh, it's Tsukushima. The, the guy that glared at him and left the... Oh, no. you that's Tsukushima. What? The man who was talking to Mama at the counter. He's the one who shot Keisuke. Sure about this? 100%. He might look like a little different than he used to, but never forget those eyes. Why would he be at, at Serena then? Don't think. Rip. Time to go. Time to go, kitty you. Just next door, so not too bad. Pick up those legs. <clears throat> Mama's not here. Where is she? Haruko. Uncle Kaz, a man just came in and took Mama away. What? Are you sure? Yeah, and Date-san went after him. Haruko, stay right here until I come back, okay? Okay, don't hurt yourself, Uncle Kaz. Haruko's constantly going through that over and over again. <clears throat> Tsukiyama, get your filthy hands off, Mama. Uh, how? So you finally remembered, eh? You have any idea how hard it was to track your retired butt down? Let her go. I really was surprised, you know. I go looking for the bar when you 
where you hung out uh hang out and who do i find the same woman i took hostage all those years ago so i figured i had some fun with the girl that got away while we settle our score what is that oh I'll, I'll draw his attention you finish the job stay right where you are i've got a couple of friends i'd like you to meet great boys Take care of these two. Just make sure you leave Date alive. I want to save her his final moments. In agony. What do you plan to do with Mama? Ah, that's right. What do... What to do with a lady? Oh, I have a thought. Why don't I be a gentleman and take her somewhere special? I guarantee you'll bring back memories. Daddy? What? So long, Date. We'll be waiting. That is, if you make it out in one piece. Date-san, you... You go after... Tsukishima, and I'll clean up here. Good looking out, Kiryu. Alright. Good luck. <clears throat> Alright then. I'm not playing around. So if you don't want to get hurt, this is your last chance to back down. No worries at all. Ruf ruffians. You know? Ah, oh, that guy is really tall. Holy heck. Must be the hoodie, but still. Oh, you actually block a, a heck of ton, too. Why do you guys recover so quickly? I just want to throw you around. Alright. Get out of my way. Alright. Uh, I have no idea where they went, though. Oh. Got they saw. What? What happened? Are you hurt? Dang it. That jerk slipped away from me. And he's got Mama with him. You mentioned going somewhere that would bring back memories. Would that be... Yeah. Probably where he shot Keisuke. Where did it happen? I'll go get Mama back. But don't be stupid, Kiryu. This is my problem. So I need, I need to be the one to solve it. You shouldn't get involved. Ate son, sorry, Kiryu, but I need to take care of this alone. If I don't, I'll never have peace of mind. Not about Keisuke, and not about the women I love. Oh, Date. Don't get yourself killed, yes. That is the thought. Where could they be? Well, I'm guessing that big question mark in that uh, empty lot uh, south of Vincent's. Or what, you, what used to be Vincent's. Is where we're headed. Hey. <clears throat> okay. okay. No, it's not? Huh. So who's the wild guy who managed to stab you in the snap smack you in the chops? Leave it alone, Aniki. He's not such a bad guy. Oh, it's not <laughs> they didn't go there, but there's a follow up to Mr. Trying to hit me. You just don't get it, do you? It's schooled even once in our line of work and it's all over for you. Can't just let you soil our profession like that. 
Anki, if, if you could just chill, what's going on here? Oh, it's you. So this is the guy who clocked you, huh? Eh, he doesn't look like much. And you are... I'm his Anaki, you know, like an older brother figure. Did you just explain that to Kiryu? We got a real similar bit, uh, bit going on here, see? So, you're another Mr. Try and Hit Me? Huh, not quite. I'm in the running business, so they call me <laughs> Mr. Try and Flee Me. Mr. Try and Flee Me? Now I've heard everything. Darn straight. You haul bud and I come chasing after you. Ditch me success and I pay you the prize money. That's an interesting concept. Yeah, well, I'll trample you in a sec if we were limited to this here parking lot. So I expanded the course of the entirety of Amarocho. Sounds simple enough. Don't underestimate me, me, chump. I won the 800 meter back in high school. Gee, how old are you now? That means I'm a certified racing man. Uh, that's not how that works. Oh, it'll cost it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. But how about it? Of course. Easy clap. I think. That's why I like. Alright, alright. Fair enough. Is there a try and ch catch me too? Alright. Wait, you're you're done? Wow. Uh, looks like I won. How in the heck did you outrun me? You must have done some crazy intensive training to pull that off. No, no, really. Well, here's your prize money. 70 big ones. All right. Well, guess I still got a ways to go, but I'll get you next time. Wow. Oh, what's happening here? Wakazo? Oh, the murder guy. You gotta come quick. What happened? I saw Date-san follow a guy. Oh, okay. And the Serena Mama into some shady building. And then the big group of thugs went in after. I've got a bad feeling about this. Which building? Where? The one on Nakamichi Alley. Alright. I'm gonna stay out of this, but it's too dangerous. Why? What's going on? There's no time to explain. If you, can f if you want to find out, you have to come along. Okazo is also pretty sure that's the, also the guy investigating the Cafe Alps murder. It's fine. Okay, so we just needed to pass time. So there's like uh, the MSQ. Then there's the green MSQ. The MSIQ. I uh, don't know, what do you... What we call it? The SSQ? The sub-story side- uh, the sub-story quest? For whatever reason. Interestingly enough. Because they're highlighting green. Whoops. Fire. <clears throat> okay. I mean, I'll take those toughest infinities all day long, man. That's the, that's some good stuff. That? 
Interesting. Oh, they did mention the... Right. This looks like the spot. <laughs> Alright. Do we just plow through a billion peeps? Oh, man. Huh. You shouldn't see... You should have seen this coming. You just had to play the hero, didn't you? Enough. You're here to settle the score with me, right? So leave her out of this. What? You got a thing for her, Date? Ha! Huh. I knew it from the moment you walked into that bar. Dang you. So you resort to taking hostages and running like a coward. People like you make me sick. Idiot. Sorry, but I couldn't just leave you hanging. Still can't do anything by yourself, can you? Come on, Date. Let's dance. The rest of you, take out that fool over there. You'll regret this. Alright. I do have, uh... I do have heat. So... Can you guys gather up a little? Oh. <laughs> man F feels bad to be man F whoa <laughs> okay all right just Tsukishima ハハハハ。皮肉だな。全く同じ状況だ。しかも今回は相手があの警官の上司と来てる。え。あの時は俺もミスったが、今回は間違わねえ。順番つけてきっちりぶっ殺す。ま、一番目は。つくしま。俺
Hey. And besides, I'm proud to have been on the force. Might be the only thing Keisuke and I have in common. Ate san, you, you don't have to try and be like Keisuke to get closer to me. Or go out of your way to be different than him. Mama? All I need is some time to process everything. And I promise I'll really think about it. About you and me. You? Come on. You can do it. Well, I say that went pretty well. At least she doesn't despise you. You stay out of this. And besides, what gives you the gumption to eavesdrop on the man's private conversation? <laughs> I've got it. I, I've got it, Date-san. Nine years of love and revenge. Former detective saves the life of a local beauty. Now, is that not front page material or what? Hi. I say it's garbage material. Turning my personal life into a half baked attempt at an article? Give me a break. Besides, who invited you here anyway? And why are you flapping your gums like you even know half of it? Well, it was obvious something was up with you, so I simply followed along. We journalists are always on the lookout for the latest and greatest. You should know that by now. Hey, Kiryu, you didn't spill the beans to this schmuck, did you? Who knows? Date-san, aren't you a journalist yourself? It's fine that you're proud to have a detective. I'm proud to have been a detective, but show some spirit for your current job, too. You'll be much happier. Uh, you'll be a much happier person. Ray, now I'm being lectured by this character. You know what? I'm done. It's time to go drinking. You guys coming or what? Classic Date. Wow, 20,000 for that? Oh. We can, get some, we can get something else. Uh, we have the choice of this in additional attack, okay, or this increase the increase the agility when uh yeah sure or heat gauge. Sure. I'm hoping these only go up to like level ten or something. Uh, there's another sub story in public park number three. Interesting. What's our sub count? Sub story count at 73. Oh. We're crossing the 60% mark. Man. What the heck we have here? Hey, uh, are you all right? Please, I need water. Uh, feels like my intestines on fire. I'm sure that's how it feels when you drink yourself into a stupor. It'll probably be just fine. But I suppose giving him some water wouldn't help. Do I have water on me? I do not. My bad, guys. Let me go. Let me go buy some water for you. Get some Wawa. Local Papo. Some uh, mineral water, right? Some Santori mineral water? Nailed it. Okay. These are the sub stories I want. Some some quick ones, you know. Uh, I'm gonna. Okay, 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 okay. Here you go, man. My man. Here you go. Here, drink this. Wow, you're really composed. Phew, that's better. Thank you very much. You okay now? Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, I never drank that much alcohol before in my life. That's what they all say. I thought I was gonna die. The man should know his limits. I suppose so. Sorry for the trouble. I had to take some clients out on the town for the night, you see. And I'm still in my first year at the company. So I can't turn down a drink when my client wants to go around. Go another round. You're a new recruit, huh? But still, even in your situation, you gotta know when to put your foot down. <sighs> You're right. Something I ended up doing stupid. Sometimes I end up doing stupid things. All because I don't know when to say no. Very relatable. Very relatable. I yeah. see. 
I mean, this isn't how it was supposed to be. I initially joined this construction firm I'm in because I wanted to design skyscrapers and other complex architecture work. But all I ever do is entertain these two-bit contractors who wants us to build the same old boring apartments over and over and over again. Grind versus dream. But it's largely within his control to be satisfied. Shame uh, he doesn't find satisfactory in the reality of his job most of the time. Day in and day out, it's nothing but bars and hostess clubs with a bunch of drunk old men. I'm starting to feel like I'm not cut out for this. <laughs> Want me to take your place? Well, if you don't like it, just quit. Huh? But I can't just up and look at how miserable you are. Better quit while you're still young and find something you enjoy. Deep cuts? Many deep cuts? Mm. Maybe you're right. I'm still young. In fact, I've already written up a letter of resignation. Cool. And I'm going to go slam it on my boss's table. Thanks for the advice, man. We're going to hear from this guy again. Without a doubt. That's taking a little bit too sh too sharp, but all right. I guess we got to do the murder at Cafe Alps, right? Rookie's Dilemma, actually. Oh, that's what we just started. Uh, Suspicious Spouses. Right. Oh, that already spoiled it. It is her husband. Of course. <laughs> Well, we called it, but the title of the sub story pretty much gave it away. The sussy, the sussy guy was was someone close to her, her significant other, the husband. Oh, wait. Oh, maybe that's not the... Uh, maybe this isn't the same thing. Perhaps it's not the same thing. Maybe it's someone else. Oh, wait, we did do this one. This one, uh... Oh, oh, no, no, no. This is the t uh, Yakuza person. Uh, where do we... She said, uh... Oh, yeah, right, 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 right. We haven't done it yet. No, no, no. This is not the window peepo peeper guy. This is the Tojo clan guy. Uh, Sato. Although I don't remember when Sato showed up before in the previous game. But this is Sato. He's gotten into some... He's... His wife is suspicious of him getting back into the old uh, Yakuza ways. And we had to go to the Mahjong parlor. Somebody's coming down. Maybe it's the husband of that lady I spoke with at Bantam. Doesn't... Can't believe I freaking lost again. Just do not have any luck before work. Doesn't look... Over and went all right. That's gotta be the guy I'm looking for. Maybe. All right. May or may not be, because we could have herrings. All right, RP walking time. That is a very flamboyant, like, tracksuit. Okay. 
Huh. This is a long tail, man. What could it be up to in there? I'm sure his wife would like to know. Get you. Uh huh. Right near Small Burger. That's right. You'll recognize it when you get here. Let's call up the wife. Oh, well, now what? Yeah. Hey, butthead. I know you've been following me. But just tell me, what are what do you want already? Hey, uh, hold on. Got it all wrong. Right. Yeah? That's what they all say. Well, too bad for you, because there's no way in heck you're dragging me back to that life. Oh, oh, he's actually actively avoiding it. It's probably an anniversary thing. He probably just wanted to treat her well because he loves her or something. Something very wholesome, I feel. His wife is going to come and realize how foolish she was for suspecting him, maybe. Dang it all. Should have never set foot in Kamurocho to begin with. I knew I'd get dragged back in. Relax. I'm not here to drag you into anything. Huh? Wait a minute. Don't tell me. You must be Kiryu-san. Wow. I'm standing face to face with a legend. Okay, it's just someone who heard of Kiryu. Because he's part of the Tojo clan. You know, someone like this guy can hear about Kiryu. But all the punks that, like, attack Kiryu who claims to be part of the Tojo clan doesn't know Kiryu. I used to be in business too, you know. And I heard all kinds of crazy stories about you, man. You were like a god. But then you retired right after you made fourth chairman of the Tojo clan. That's actually what inspired me to leave the business myself. Well, that's all fine and good. I need to know what you've been up to. Your wife's been worried about you. She has? Hmm. Well, I guess there is one thing I haven't managed to tell her yet. Think you can keep a secret? You see, I was asked to be a chef at the restaurant I work part-time. I started going to cooking school. That is unbelievably adorable. The boss said I can get on full time if I get me a cooking uh give me a cook's license. To me, that's a golden opportunity. Man, he didn't even need HLA for this. We've been wanting to have us some kids soon, so I figured having a proper salary was the best way to prepare. Unbelievably wholesome. So you've been sneaking off to cooking school. Is that it? Well, it ain't my intention to be sneaky. I mean, sure, the school my boss recommended is in a rundown building with no sign out front, but the teacher there is world class. And what's with the late night knife sharpening? He's a cook, kitty. You. What the? Ah. Oh, you mean this thing? Oh, he's just scaring it. Ah, I've been using this to gut tuna. Guess it does kind of look like something you could use to shank another guy. Get the blood flowing. Haha. <laughs> now I see how this is. Now I see how this is all coming together. Huh? What's coming together? And why is Ryoko all suspicious of me all of a sudden? I wonder about that lady sometimes. Well, she said you've been a lot more well off in the money department than you should be. <laughs> oh, that. Well, I just so happened to win a nice wad of cash at the Mahjong tables. So I stashed away some, some, uh, some away for special occasions. Man, that wife of mine is pretty sharp. <laughs> there you are. What are you doing here? I wouldn't worry if I were you. Your husband's giving me an explanation for everything. And it all checks out. Huh? What do you mean? You just gotta trust me, babe. I promise you. I wasn't gonna make you cry. That was one of our wedding vows. Then you remembered. You remembered your promise. Of course I remembered, babe. You think I forget a thing like that? Sorry for putting you through all this drama, kitty son. I hope you take this for your troubles. Oh, let's give you more money. Thank you for all your help. I feel like I can trust my husband so much more now. Well, I better get going. Well, you don't know. <laughs> Alright, Ryoko. Fair enough. All Kiryu said was, you don't have to worry. And she's like, yes. Instant trust. When Kiryu says 
to a total stranger, you don't have to worry anymore. You trust the man. You know? That's... That's the gold standard. Thanks for standing there. Appreciate it. You can do that indefinitely to weak, uh, to weak mobs. The weak guys, the flunkies, you know? What's this over here? <laughs> tattoo up says, finally got a tattoo, huh? Now you're one of the boys. Uh, well, not quite. See, it was so darn painful, I could only stand to get the outline done. You're joking, right, kid? You think anyone's gonna take you seriously with a half effort tattoo like that? Get back over there and do it right. Man, but that reminds me. Rikia was saying his Viper tattoo wasn't good. Oh, okay. Maybe I should take Rikia over to the dragon divine dragon later. Just up. True. True. Rikia probably has a few uh quests that we could uh, sub stories that we can do with him in our party. Rip Rikia. Whoopsie Daisy. You see what happens? You eat the ramen, you darn well better pay for it. What happened? That guy ran off without paying for his meal. Oh, it's the runaway guy. Mm, the dining dasher. Him over there. The porky fella, right? Can't believe that. Sure. Has he gotten that far already? Yeah, he's a chase guy. The dining dasher. Dang it. The owner makes that ramen with pride. I can't let him disrespect us like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, I just need to catch him, right? You don't really chase him? I owe you one. I don't really care about the money. The owner puts his heart and soul into that ramen. I can't let somebody dine and dash on us. All right, all right, all right. I mean, he's porkly, so, uh, we can out stamina him, like, pretty, pretty regularly. Oh, come on. Oh. Wrong direction. Gosh darn it. Oh my gosh, that camera change. I don't think this is the last time we'll see of the Dine and Dash here. Ah, you again. What's with you? I guess you never learn, huh? You're coming with me. He likes the thrill of dining and dashing, but he has a lot of money. That'll be 950 yen for the pork ramen you ate. But I don't think we need your money. Instead, you're gonna wash our dishes until closing time. You gotta be kidding. What if I pay 10 times the price? You can let me go for 9,500 yen, right? Huh? Wait, you've got that oh. much? Please, seriously, your ramen is amazing. Would that be enough to make it up to you? <laughs> that death stare. <sighs> Well, for that much cash, how can I refuse? 
Just, if you had that much money, why didn't you pay in the first place? Yeah. Why did I dine and dash? Ha! 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 You should know by now. I did it because the food was there. What? You're not climbing Everest, you idiot. You don't just do it because it's there. Mm. And you, you make a good rival. I'll see you next time I go dashing. <laughs> Wait, I wonder if he gets like really skinny <laughs> after a while. Thanks for catching that dining dasher. You must be tired. Here, have a drink. Salmon and Sprite. Wow, just giving up. Sorry you got wrapped up in this now. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Oh wait, there's more. I think uh you would you would uh you ate uh, is back, right? You don't say you ate a... Welcome, welcome. It's nice to see you again. Hmm. Looks like you got a full house today. My employee's wife went into labor and he had to rush to the hospital. Oh, it's a different story. Of course I like to be there with him, but look at all these customers. And I'm all alone here. Anyway, what can I get you? Let's see. Wait. Is Kiryu going to do some extreme ramen prep? Why don't I help you out? Really? You sure about that? Yeah, sure. It's the least I can do for all the great ramen I've eaten. What should I do? Can you take orders from the customers for me? Just tell me the type of ramen each customer wants to order that they ask for. Make sure not to mix up the customer's order and the types of ramen each person wants. Alright, I'll give it a shot. A what? A one-off mini game too? Tell the owner which ramen each customer wants in order they ask for it. <clears throat> if you mess up any one, the customer will get mad. Focus and take each order carefully. Okay. Kashu, okay. Wataiko. Yushu. Two pork. Yushu. Let's see. Kashu. Large Kyushu. Oh, wait. I think I screwed up. I screwed up. Mataiko was the second one. Uh, second one. The Kyushu was the third one. Whoops. And then double stewed. And then it was uh, the regular. I screwed up the second Wait. guy. My bad. Ugh. Check, please. Take it. Uh, let, let's try that again, right? <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Looks like I finally calmed down here. Now then, here's your. Oh, okay, fine. Whatever. Whatever. I, I just came in for the XP, okay? Heck, heck that. Uh, murder. Instant ramen guy still in Okinawa. Oh, the rookie. Who, who's going to quit his job? Hit and stop. That's Okinawa. We, we have no idea how to initiate that. A tuna fun. Oh, a tuna fun's in Okinawa too. What the heck? One all the way at the other end? Wait, why is that guy approaching me? Ooh. Not today. We want to get to 75%. 75% is the 80 mark. Uh, 76. Okay. Seventy six. There are 119. Right? Yeah, 119. So around 80. 80 is the 75% mark. Oh. 
Oh, come on. Don't be like this. What are you going to do with that, huh? Okay. You gotta be kidding me. What kind of butthead runs out on his bill? Oh, this is the dining dash again. Mm. Happened just another dining dasher. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder why he's waiting there. Yeah, rival. Yeah. Wish I could leave the shop and go after him. It's fine. We'll chase him down. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go again. Oh, his, uh, his stamina is increased, actually. Oh, we're in a wider, wider space. He's getting better. Ugh. Ugh. Dang it. This time, it was like you were trying to get, get me to chase you. What are you Whoa. thinking? Nobody's ever chased me after me like you do. There aren't enough Dine and Dash pros like me left in this world. <clears throat> Dine and Dash pro. I mean, it's hard to run on a full stomach. And even if you get away, you end up hungry again from all the exercise. I don't think that's how that works, but okay. <clears throat> it's hard being a Dine and Dash pro. You know what it's like, right? Just hurry up and pay. I'm taking you right back to Gelatitaria. Our cost of gelato comes to 7,000 yen. Well, that's a lot of gelato. <clears throat> so let's see the cash now. Okay, here you go. <laughs> if you got the cash, then just pay the darn bill in the first place. Why are you just doing this for kicks? Oh, I... I'm sorry. Don't ever show your face here again. And you, you earned this. Seriously, I'm grateful. Even if I'm still ticked off. Oh, wow. Giving us healing items. I, I like that. I'm all for this. I'm done. No more dying and dying. Oh, really? If today proved anything, is that I'll never escape you. Good. Glad to hear it. I think it's time I left... On a journey for myself. Have a good life. I don't think we'll ever meet again. Is this it? Is Kamarocho's Kamu era of dying and dashing? Somehow, I don't believe him. Somehow, he is lying. I don't believe him for, for one moment. That dude is so lying. Whoa. Yeah. Upsy daisy. I don't believe him for a moment. <clears throat> Oh, it's not him. Huh. I thought it was him. 
Maybe it is over. Nope, see Daisy. Wait, what the heck? Thanks for aiming at the wrong target, game. Upsy Daisy. Upsy Daisy. Alright. Old magazine. You butthead. You know what I think about your old magazine? This. Get out of my sight. Excuse me. Aren't you Kiryu san? Familiar man. It's me, Itagawa, the Mars fighter, remember? You helped set me straight back in Sotenberi about two years back? Wait. Two years ago. Like Club Mars? Itagawa, Mars fighter. Oh, right. You really saved my bacon. I killed it at the Grand Prix, and I finally hit it big in Tokyo. Did he really look like that? Itagawa is the... Uh, the person who ran? No. No, no, no. That's Yakuza Zero. A few years ago. I guess maybe he's just... Orshine? Wait, Mars Fighter. I don't rem remember this. But the Grand Prix is the... Cabaret Club thing. Glad to hear it. You back in Kamurocho on personal business? Huh? Oh no. I'm on the clock, buddy. We're shooting a drama right nearby. Wait. Shooting. Yeah, I just don't remember. No, I don't remember at all. Two years ago is uh, Kiwami 2. Nope. What? Do I look like I'm on vacation, Kiryu san? Well, the hat. Oh, I thought you always worked with a partner. I don't see him around. Oh, you mean... Oh, Kitagawa. He's the... It's the dynamic duo. The comedy duo. We found him in uh, Stills, the bar. It's the comedy duo. Yeah. Mina, Minazawa was the guy who was like... The thug that we knocked some sense in. I see. Yeah, things aren't exactly going smooth there. Something happened? Well, everything was great when we debuted as the Mars Fighters. About a year back, the six months after, uh, Mina Mizawa up and vanished. He didn't leave you any kind of clue about where he was going? Not a one. Honestly, doing variety show gigs in Tokyo isn't exactly a glamorous life, so maybe he decided enough was enough. Me, I'll take whatever work pays the bill. But you know how Minama, uh, Minamizawa was set on sticking to Manzai comedy. I remember, yeah. Since he left, I've been getting by on talk show appearances and TV dramas, but I'm worried about the guy. Whenever I get a break between gigs, I pick up the search for him again. Just yesterday, I heard someone spotted him in Kamurocho, so here I am. But well... No sign of him. I want to do Manzai comedy with him again. Until I can, I gotta keep working so our audience never forgets the Mars fighters. I see. Look, Kiryu san, if you spot Miramazawa around town, you wanna give me a call? Take my number and one of his recent picks. Pretty good pick. Alright. I'll call you when I find Miramazawa. Thanks, thank you so much. Itagawa-san? It's almost time. Oh. Ah, uh, geez, already? Okay. I got a shoot coming up, so I gotta run. Sorry to drag you into this, but please, keep an eye out for him. So he made the, So they made their way up to, uh, uh, Kamurocho. The comedy duo. The ways to remember. The stuff you remember, you know? Ah, uh, I think this is a good place. 
I didn't quite make it to 80, but this is a good place. We uh, finish darts, batting, and billiards are left. Oh, and, and there's others, but those are not as bad. Oh, and UFO catcher. Alright, that's a good place to stop. We made some great headway. Alright guys, thanks for chilling, thanks for hanging out as always. Until next time, stay safe and stay healthy. Take care of yourself. I know.